What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. And today, I think it's getting close to being called a classic worker placement game. Maybe? Yeah, I think so. We'll go with that. So it's day 16 of our 24 days of streaming. So thanks, everybody, for joining us live, both around the world as well as after the fact. We appreciate it. So today's going to be a lot of fun, I think, because we got a couple of, well, I guess one new one new face, as it were, and we're going to be playing Viticulture with Tuscany, the Essential Edition. Yeah, right? Yeah. Essentials yeah. of both. Yeah, that, that'll work. Uh, designed by Jamie Stegmeyer and Alan Stone and published by Stonemeyer Games. So I'm your host, Edward Euler, joined by, like I said, a couple of familiar faces and one new one. Banker Dave. Marnie Brandt. And Michael Brandt. All right. So, yeah, this should be fun. So, welcome to the streams, Marnie. Thank you. You excited? I am. All right. Cool. <laughs> Today, like I said, should be a lot of fun. So, if you guys have any questions uh, during the teach, obviously just save it for the end and we'll be able to cover them then. Otherwise, Michael is going to be teaching this. Uh, everybody here has played it. I'm probably the rustiest. So, remember that when it comes time for picking your winner. You've been warned. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go make some wine, shall we? You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. All right. Michael, take it away. All right. So, right before I get into the teach, I uh, just wanted to mention that there's a few different versions of Viticor and Tuscany. And if you want to know the details of all those different versions, uh, check out StoneMeyerGames.com. They've got some nice graphics that explain everything. Um, just know if you're starting from scratch, you just want the Essential Editions, and that's what we're using today. All right, cool. Rock and roll. All right, here we go. Uh, Viticulture, the strategic game of winemaking, is a worker placement game played over a number of rounds or years. Each year is made up of four seasons, spring through winter, as well as some upkeep steps at the end of the year. Every year, players will use the different seasonal options to improve their vineyards, to try to improve the reputation of their vineyard and earn more victory points. Primarily through making and selling wine. Weird how that works. Just crazy. Uh, when one player reaches 25 or more victory points by the end of winter, uh, the end game is triggered. Once that year is complete, including the end of the year upkeep, uh, then we score the influence map, and then the player with the most victory points is the winner. So let's uh, look at our components. Uh, starting on the player boards, at the top we've got our three different fields. So we'll use those. Uh, to pl we'll, we will plant vines and build structures in the fields. Uh, below on the player board you can see that there are some structures and you can build the structure tokens onto the player board. So the abilities of those structures I will cover later as they come up relevant to the game. Cool. Moving down in the bottom left we have the crush pads. So that's where we will track what grapes we have. We can have red or white grapes and they can be, uh, their value can be from 1 to 9. There's a sale price in the middle, but that doesn't matter for Tuscany. Um, that's one of the differences between Tuscany and the base game. There There's we go. So imagine it's like that. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. On the right is our cellar. We need a place to store our wine, of course. So we all start out with a small cellar, which can be upgraded later on to a medium and large cellar, allowing us to store more types of wine and higher quality wine. Then on the side we've got a sideboard which is a couple more slots for orange structure cards. This is a worker placement game so of course we need to have some workers. So we will start out each with three workers, one of which is the Grande worker. El Grande. Uh, we'll be able to grow our worker pool by uh, three more over the course of the game. There's also a couple special worker meeples that we'll see in a minute. We have six influence stars that will track our influence in the different regions of Tuscany and will give us bonuses and hopefully some end game victory points. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, we have metal coins. Another Which, those will be off camera, but you guys will see them. Another essential part of Viticulture. It doesn't come with the essential edition, but it's an extra add on well worth having. So we'll use the, that's the currency, we'll use it mainly to build structures and to train workers. There are some other effects that we'll be able to do with them. Okay. 
we have glass tokens that will represent the grapes in various states, whether they're on our crush pad or as wine. Right, so, you know, little, little glass tokens. I also like to use one of those uh, on the score track just to mark what year we're in. It doesn't really matter, but I like to know. How many years we played, right? Yeah. It's kind of like in Terraforming Mars, how many generations the game went. Yep. Yeah. Lastly, on the player board screen, we've got Mama and Papa cards. These will determine our starting resources, and we'll go into more detail on that once we know what those resources mean. All right. So moving to the main board. At the top, we've got five different decks of cards. So the green cards are vines, where we'll, we'll need those to go grapes. Right. The yellow cards and the blue cards are visitors. They're, they're like one-off abilities that will just be helpful things. Purple cards are wine orders. We're making wine and selling wine. So those, like recipe fulfillment type stuff. Yeah, so those will be pretty important. And lastly, we have orange cards, which are structures. Now, functionally, those will be just like the structure tokens that we have. So a lot like these, but they'll go there. And we all have the same structure tokens, but in the structure deck, we can all be getting different types of structures. Cool. So that's... That's kind of where some asymmetry will come in. So we have four different seasons on the player board. Each one has its own color associated with it. We can see spring is green and summer is yellow and so on. Each season has four different actions that can be taken in that season. And we will go into those shortly. Um, along the bottom, we have player corks. They just look like cylinders, but they're really corks for the wine bottles. Uh, so those will, those will track our score. We start at zero points, of course. Up in the, up in the top left, we've got our, uh, our player bottles. So they're wine bottles. Or, or, or milk cartons. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the white one, right? Especially the white one. Right. right. So we'll use those to track our residual payment. We all start at zero. That residual payment is just money that we'll make every single year. Cool. On the left of the player board, we have the wake-up chart. So we have our roosters that will show our turn order. And actually, turn I seconds. think actually I'm going to lay them down. I yeah. think they'll show up better. We'll, just, we'll stagger them a bit. Yeah, the, that's fine. So no worries. Yeah. So that will show the turn order. Every year we'll just, or every season rather, we'll start at the top so in this case, Edward, being the yellow player, would get to act first yep. every season. And we'll randomize that before the game starts. That's fine. Yep. And then below the wake-up chart, we have the year-end steps. So when we pass from winter, we'll follow those from right to left, following the arrows. And we'll cover more of those after the actions so that we know what, what they all mean. Cool. So on your turn, this is a worker placement game. You so will you place a worker. Place a worker. <laughs> so it's this game is played in seasons. Hmm. And yep, go ahead. This game is played in seasons, so you can place a worker on any open space in the current season. So starting in spring, each worker can only take one action per year. So we'll we'll pick up the worker at the end of the year. Notice each action has three spaces with it. So the action spaces that we'll actually use is determined by the player count. With four players, we'll use the leftmost two spaces. So we, it looks like three, but it's really just two for us. Right, so ignore as if ignore those that. did not exist, right? Yeah, yep. you would use the third one with five or six, and when playing with just two players, you only use the leftmost one. Which is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so each... Uh, Many of the action spaces also have a bonus. Notice on the draw green cards, the leftmost space has a bonus in the inside of the space. So whenever you take an action, the action is mandatory, but the bonus is optional. And you can do the bonus before or after you do the, the action. I.e. get a buck before you build one structure. Right. Yeah. And usually it'll make sense to just apply that one as like a discount. Sure. But... That's how the bonuses work. Lastly, on the worker placement, we all start out with a grande worker, which is just like a regular worker. Except grande. Except grande. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a special ability. If 
if an action space is all filled up, or rather, if an action is all filled up, both spaces are full, um, like that. There you go. You can still use the grande to take that action. So you would just put the grande next to that action space, and you get to do the action. And all of our grandes can end up on the same one. There's no limit there. Right. So it's basically a rule breaker for the worker placement aspect where you can go when there isn't a spot for anyone to go. Right. But if there is a spot there, you can still use the grande as a regular worker. And so if there's a spot available, he can't just take the action without filling the spot. Gotcha. On your turn, if you don't want to place a worker, uh, you can pass to the next season, which means you'll move your rooster over on the wake-up chart. And choose one of the availables, right? You'll stay in your current row, actually. Good call. You'll stay in your row, and you will, once you, once you pass to summer, you'll wait for everyone else to pass to spring. And then only once everyone has passed do we move on to the next season. So let's dive into what all of these actions do. Let's do it. So the top one is draw a green card. Right. And we've we got some examples we want to look at, so sure. yeah, go ahead yeah. and draw some. All right. So, and I'll bring them over. I'll just bring a couple here. So, to give folks an idea. So we'll just draw. So that action is just draw a green card into your hand. The bonus lets you draw two cards. Okay. So, to show options, go ahead. Uh, next up in spring is giving a tour to gain two lira. Bonus of giving one lira. So this is where the tasting room structure is important. If you, have, if you have the tasting room built and you have some wine in your cellar for your tourists to sample, you get a victory point. Cool, easy enough. So in other words, as long as they can taste some of it, correct? Yep, and, and it doesn't use up the wine or anything, it stays there. Nice. So how do we build the tasting room? We build a structure. So that's very straightforward action. You just pay the cost of the structure, and then you get to add the structure to your board, whether it's a token that goes on the board, or it's an orange card that goes onto one of your slots or an empty field. Now there are three types of orange card structures. We've got We've got some that give you a residual bonus, like the statue. So the statue bonus just gives you a victory point every year. That's what that kind of encircling arrows means. Which, really good uh, iconography, because it's the same as it is up here, which is your residuals. Okay. That's right. There are enhancement structures, like the fountain. They just give some kind of ongoing bonus. So nothing bad there. And then there are some action structures, like the guest house. Those give you, and only you, an extra action space. So the guest house gives you a bonus of two victory points every time you use it, and the action that is mandatory is that you must discard two visitor cards. So trading cards for points, pretty good deal. Yeah, sounds pretty good. All right. Also note at the bottom of every orange card, there's a little one victory point symbol. So when you build those, you score a point. Cool. And the destroy action, this is where the destroy action on the sideboard comes into play. If you've built an orange card and you decide it's taking up space and not getting you anything, you can place one of your workers on the destroy space to then discard that orange card and free up some space. So generally this won't be happening. If you're taking the destroy action, you, you plan, plan better. better. <laughs> Next, uh, the final action in spring is to place or move a star. So we each have six stars in our personal supply. Yep. When you place or move a star, you put it in one of the regions of Tuscany on the, in the region map down here. All right, so if Dave... In Luca. Um, so when you place a star there, you take the bonus that is below the name. So in the case of Luca, you get an orange card. If you've placed all six stars from your supply, then you must do the move action. When you move a star, you just move it from one region to another, and you don't get any bonus in that case. So the reason you would do that is because at the end of the game, when we score the influence map, whichever in every region, whoever has the most stars in that region scores the points associated with that star, or, or excuse me, with that region. 
So whoever has the most stars in Pisa scores one point. Some of them are worth two, like you can see Siena is worth two victory points. So when you're, when you're taking the place and move influence action, definitely pay attention to what bonuses you want and whether it's a one point or two point region. Sure, makes sense. That's it for spring. Pretty simple. Summer. Top action is playing a summer visitor card from your hand. The bonuses are gain a buck or you get to play another card. And this is, this is the case where it's most important to know that it's an optional bonus. If you only have one yellow card, you can still take that bonus to block someone else from being able to play too. <laughs> All right. So you, you can play in the second spot before the first? Yeah. Yes. So the summer visitors, as I said, they're just one-time effects and usually what you like to call rule breakers. Right. right? Yep. Some kind of one-shot rule breaker bonus. And these visitor cards can be pretty impactful. So yes, if you can. ignore them completely, that's not a recipe for success. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> And the blue cards, the blue winter visitor cards, are basically the same thing. But we should note that the summer visitor cards, their bonuses usually relate to actions in spring or summer, like getting more vines or planting them or getting more money. Whereas the winter visitor cards m more likely relate to winter actions. Okay, cool. So if All right, good to know. If you're wanting to know which one to pick, that, that can guide you a little bit. Okay, good. For those of us that are rusty, that's appreciated. Good. <laughs> Next summer action is planting a vine. Those vines that we drew earlier, you got to plant them to do anything with them, right? Right. So if you drew a couple from here, and then next season, planting a vine. So you can plant the vines onto an open field. And we've got three different types of vines. There are red vines, white vines, and pinot. Thank you. There we yep. go. So the vines... There we go produce grapes ranging in value from one to four, either red or white. And then the Pinot is a special case where it's just a red one and a white one. So the total value on the vines determines what structure you will need to, in order to plant the vine. So you can see on the top left of the Pinot, there's a little trellis icon that matches the icon on the player board and it matches the shape of the token. So that's what the trellis and irrigation are for is for their prerequisites to planting vines. The twos require a trellis, the threes require an irrigation, and the four values require both. And if you have a vine that is value one, it doesn't require either. And you can see here that it requires both. Cool. So when you plant vines, you can plant them on an open field or on a field that already has a vine, as long as you don't exceed the maximum vine value of that field. So our fields from left to right have a max value and value of 5, 6, and 7. So in this case, on the left field, we have a 2 white, and we could not add a Chardonnay vine to that because that would bring our total value to 6. So, so that's the max value. The bonus on the planting a vine action just lets you plant a second vine, and you can plant it together or in a separate field from the first vine. If you have the windmill structure built, when you plant a vine, you get a victory point. That maxes out at one victory point per year. If you have the yoke built, uh, the yoke gives you an action space, and one of the things that that action space lets you do is uproot. So that's kind of like the destroy action with the structures, only when you uproot a vine, it goes to your hand and you can keep it there. Oh, nice. To be able to replant later. Replant later if you're rearranging your fields. But again, most likely that's a, or that's a demonstration that you should have planned better. <laughs> one helpful variant that I, would, that I would recommend for planting vines is once you've planted vines, place a glass token on your field for each color that that field produces. And we'll see more, we'll see why in them once we get to fall. Okay. The next summer action is trading one for one. So there's four resources shown there. When you take this action, you can trade one of those resources for another one. From left to right, discarding two cards. If you're trading it away, you discard. If you're trading for it, you get to draw two of any cards. It can be the same or different colors. Then get or, get or pay some money, and then score a victory point or lose a victory point. 
And if you lose a victory point, you can't go below minus five on the track. You're not allowed to go past minus five. Probably won't happen. And probably shouldn't. Definitely shouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the, the last one is a grape. If you're trading away a grape, you, it can be any color and any value of grape from your crush pad. And then if you're trading for a grape, it can be red or white, but must be value one. When okay, you gain the grape. cool. Got it. So if you want to get rid of a red four for a white one, you can do so. Right. And this, this action kind of replaces the action in base viticulture where the sale price mattered, because now we can just trade any grape for three bucks and we don't need to worry about the sale price that's on the, on the board. Cool. The last summer action is to buy or sell a field. So we all start out owning three fields. If you have an empty field and you want it to be turned into money, you can you flip it over and you get the price that it shows in the, on the top. So six bucks for that middle field. But you, you no longer own it. No longer own it, meaning you can't use it at all until you go back to that action to buy it back. Okay. And if you want to buy it back, lucky you, you have you just pay the six bucks again. All right. Cool. No interest. Same. You don't lose on the deal then, right? Right. And in fact, you actually gain from doing so. You gain because the available, the available bonuses are a victory point or an orange card. Which reminds me, I think I failed to mention the bonus on the trade space. The plus one means you get to make another trade. Sure. Not trade one for two. Now you get to trade two for two. Got it. Any questions on spring or summer? No. All right. Halfway through the actions then. All right. Woohoo. So fall. In fall, we get to uh, the first action there is drawing some order cards, the purple cards. So we will, I'll explain more what the order cards are when we get there, but you can see what they look like at least. There's a few different examples. And I'll actually bring them over so folks can see them a little bit easier. So there we go. So, so that's the order card, drawing the order cards. Yep. Next in fall is harvesting one field. The bonus lets you harvest an additional field or take a buck. So when you harvest a field, this is when we'll use the tokens we just put on our field. Each field can produce up to one grape of each different color. So this Pinot field over here will make a red one grape and a white one grape, and you'll just use those tokens there. Because each field can only be harvested once per year. So if the tokens are gone, you know you've already used that field. That's pretty clever. That's smart. I dig it. I should yeah. have checked which user I got this from, but I got that from a Board Game Geek user. Okay, so. cool. Good to know. All right. You can also use the yoke. That's the other action that the yoke has. The yoke let, can let you harvest one field. Works exactly the same. Just take With, the grapes. And without the bonus, though. That's the no only bummer. No right. possible bonus, yeah. Yep. If you are harvesting grapes, if you're attempting to harvest grapes and you already have grapes of that value, you just go to the next highest one. So if you had a, your field there has, produces a six white, for example, on the left. Yep. So if you already had a six white and we're harvesting that field, it would just go down to a, a five. Just go to the next highest available one. There you go. Meaning down, not, down. not up. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yep. Cool. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing this wrong this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you have the grape values all filled up down to one, like... If you already had a red one when you're harvesting that Pinot field, you just don't get a red grape. Right, because zero it, is it, zero. Yeah. Plan better. <laughs> Again, plan better for sure. Absolutely. Any questions on harvesting? Nope. One field per round. Per action. Per right. action, yeah. yeah. If you get the bonus, you can do two. If you have the yoke... So I'll that out. so if you go here, you can harvest two of your fields, and then on a subsequent action, if you go to the yoke, if you've built it, you could then potentially harvest all three of your fields in mm -hmm. one season, right? Cool. Yep. Good deal. What and if happens if I have two cards that are the same color grape on the same field? Two cards that are Do the I same have color to grape. Pick which one I so harvest. And you add them together. Can only create one. Add, 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 add up one. together. Yeah, right. So, so I couldn't make a four and a two. It has to be a six. Has right. to be a six. Cool. Right. Good deal. All right. One other note about the yoke is that action spaces from on your player board or on other orange cards can be taken in any season. 
so you can use the ho the yolk, excuse me, to harvest in spring or summer, so that then you're ready to harvest again in fall. So it might give you a bit of initiative to get that done ahead of time. Cool. But you can only harvest one field per year, or per action. Per action. Oh, per action. You can per only action. each each field can only be harvested once per year. That's e what right, 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 right. Yeah. So in other words. If the markers are gone, you've harvested that field, but that doesn't mean you can't harvest a different field right. with a subsequent action. Right? Yes. And Morton it, uh, said, uh, thought you could only produce lower if the value is taken. That's correct. You just heard that wrong. So we're good. We're good? Okay. So once we've harvested fields, this is a game about winemaking. So what do you think we should do with uh, all those grapes? May, may, maybe make some grappa. Yes. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Right. So the next action is to make up to two wine tokens. Uh, the bonus there lets you make an additional wine token, so a total of three wine tokens. So how does that work? Let's go back to the player board and zoom in on how this making wine process works. If you're making a red wine or a white wine, you just take one grape of the color and the wine that is produced matches the value of the grape. So if I'm making the six, whoop, it's yep. a six white, easy enough. Same with the red. And that would be a four red as a separate action. If or you, if I took the the bonus that allows me to make up the two. Cool. As long as you have the seller. Yes. Fair point. So right. we all start so. off with a small seller, which only allows red and white wine and only up to values one through three. With the medium seller, you can go up to value six and you can make blush wine. With the large seller, up to value nine and you can make sparkling wine. So for blush wine, you use one red grape and one white grape. You add their values together to get the value of the blush wine. So five white one and one red, that makes a six blush. So, and they both go away then, both the tokens, correct? Yep. Cool. So you just discard one and then the other one is now the wine. There we go. The sparkling wine, look, the sparkling wine is made in a very similar way, but requires two red grapes instead of one red. And again, you'll add them all together. And it has a nice little player a little reminder right here on how to make blush and sparkling if you forget like I am wont to do. So when making sparkling you add all three together so if you had a red one, red two, white four that's enough for sparkling seven. Cool. When you make wine you have to have the appropriate cellar to store the value of the wine you're making. If you made for example if, if you don't have the big enough cellar then you just go to the highest available value. So if you're wanting to make a seven wine in this case. Okay, so if I had a seven red, I don't have the large seller, that means this is going to become a six red and that's all she wrote. Yep. Same if you get the large seller and happen to go over nine when you're making a blush or sparkling. All right. So very important, you cannot use two red grapes to make a better red wine. It's just one to one. You only add them up for the blush and the sparkling. Gotcha. Any questions on making wine? No. Nah. Sounds like an easy process. Let's go do it. <laughs> just, just push some tokens around. Right? That's yeah, all you got to do. Right? Really easy. So the last action in fall is a combination of some actions we saw back in spring. You can build a structure or give a tour for two bucks. And so, the bonus is a buck. All right. Easy enough. Pretty easy. The final season, winter. Winter is here. Let's start from the bottom for winter, actually, with filling an order. So now we'll want to take a look at the purple cards. Let me actually manipulate some stuff here. Let's. So let's when you see. fill an order, you'll there, be. Uh, actually, yeah, that'll work. All right, there we go. So I have this order. Ooh. Okay. So the the top left of the order card shows what wine or wines are required, both in type and minimum value. And then the bottom of the card shows how many victory points you get for filling that wine and what your residual income will be increased by. So in this case, if you fill this order with a red wine at least value one. So in this case, the smallest I have is a two. So, okay, there's that one. And then a white wine at least value three. Okay, good to go. So there. you just discard those. You score two victory points. So you move your cork up the, up the point track. Yep. And then every year... For, at the end of every year from now on, you'll make an extra buck. And you'll notice that it has that same symbol as for the residual there, so good to go there. So the wine orders range in requirements and value from 
two victory points and only one residual income, all the way up to six victory points and increasing your yearly income by two. Nice. But notice the, the high value one requires a sparkling and a white wine, so it's going to be naturally harder to fill those higher value ones. Cool. So that's filling orders. That's where a bunch of the points are going to come from. The bonus on one of the spaces is an extra victory point. Never bad. Cause Never bad. Correct me if I'm wrong. The goal of the game is victory, victory points. points. Okay, got Just it. Right. Okay. All, right. Yeah. All right, cool. <sighs> Moving up. If filling a wine order is just too hard, or maybe you didn't draw the order to go with your wine, you can go here to sell one wine token. So when you sell a wine token, you get victory points based on the type of the wine, and the value is irrelevant. Nine red is worth one victory point here. Ooh, ouch. So, so sell your crap wine this way is what you're saying. So I wouldn't want to sell the good stuff because this stuff is worth the same as that when it comes to selling. Got That's it. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bonuses on selling a wine token are you get to draw a structure card or place or move an influence star, which is basically like a wild card bonus because it could be, could be any card or a buck or two. Right. Up next in winter, moving up, is, well, this is a worker placement game, so we need to be able to expand our workforce somehow. So this is where we train workers. So we pay four bucks to train a worker, and we get to add the worker to our available worker pool. Or rather, next year, it'll be in our, in our available worker pool. For now, you would just pay the money and then put them in the training house. So you add the worker that you use to take the action and add the second one there that you'll get at the beginning of next year, right? Right. Got it. Uh, the bonus there is just a buck, so basically a discount on training. Okay. And the last winter action is to play a winter visitor card. Same idea as the summer visitor cards. Do you want us to show? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's Here, let me have a couple, see of, them a couple of them. Okay. All right, so we'll just move stuff out of the way, and so you guys can see this to give a couple of examples. Okay. So we have the homesteader. So build a structure at $3 discount or plant up to two vines. You can lose a victory point to do both. The grower does similar, so it's all about planting. And then winter is like the jack of all trades, choose two, harvest one field, make up to two wine, or fill a order. So that's, you get to do two actions just for doing the one playing a visitor card action. Right. And these are all one-time use unless they're one of the oranges, correct? That's right. Okay, cool. So knowing that these visitor cards are so important, you might be wondering how you get them because there's no action to draw the visitor huh. cards. Michael, tell us how. Well, there's a number of ways. Down on the influence map, you can get them as a bonus for placing your star. If you do the trade action in summer, you can draw any color card you like. Some of, and in fact, some of the visitor cards themselves will let you draw more cards. Like some winter visitors will let you draw yellow cards cool. and vice versa, or just any kind of card. The wake up chart, which we'll cover in a second. Um, and lastly, the cottage, which will kind of go with the wake-up chart, so I'll talk about those in cool. just a moment. All right. There is one other action on the board that is not part of any season over in the bottom right. It's kind of the sad consolation prize <laughs> action. You only get... You can place your worker there to gain one lira or draw an orange card. This action can be taken in any season, and any number of workers from all of the players can end up there. So... That's just really, you've got nothing at all better for your worker to do. So hopefully you're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you don't want to win. Right. Who wants to do that, really? Yeah. Right. There's no comp competition in this room. Right. <laughs> all right, so now that that's all of, the, all of the main board, let's talk about some special workers. So you can see on the top right of the screen, we've got some images of the worker cards. Yep, up there. And the reason we did that is honestly because the lighting was washing them out really, really bad. And so therefore we thought, hey, you know what, let's, uh, let's just make the, uh, the graphics. So that's why we did that. So when you train a worker, 
whether it's on the train action space or through a visitor card or any kind of way you're training a worker, you can pay one extra buck in order to train a special worker. So our, our lady special worker today, mm -hmm. represented by all of these tokens, will be the merchant. So the merchant says, if you place the merchant on the board after all opponents have passed to the next season, after you take the action, you may draw one of any card. So, hey, there's another way to get some visitor cards if you want. Cool. And then our man special worker today will be the messenger. You may place the messenger on an action space in a future season. When you take your first turn that season, use the messenger's action instead of placing a worker. So this is basically like just calling dibs on a fu future action space. It may be spring, but you know for sure that you need to harvest, and it's so important for you to harvest in fall, that you just place your messenger here. Do you get the bonus? You do get the bonus. You do not take the action right away. Right. But once we get to fall, in this case, on my first turn, I'd be able to... Um, I would stand him up, or, or if we're going to have him face down so right. they look better. Yep. I would just know that I get to harvest first, and I don't place another worker in fall until my next turn after that. Cool. Easy enough. And, and that has to be your first... Yeah, that's what you just said. Work. It has to be... That's your first action on the given yeah. season. Yeah. So the, the only strategic thing I'll say about that is that if you're planning your messenger to make wine, you better make sure you harvest before that, because you won't have time to harvest once you get to fall. All right, so that's it for... Special workers. Oh, excuse me. One more thing I would like to say about special workers. Your max workforce is still only six workers. So we would take one of these workers over here and place it where the special workers live just to make it clear that you, you can't them. get a seventh. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about this wake up chart now. So when you pass from one season to the next, you move your rooster to the next season and you take any bonus that you just covered. Sad face. Yep. Okay. When you pass to fall is where the cottage structure matters. The cottage lets you draw a yellow or blue card in fall. Right here. And the cottage will be the, that the one building. with the offset door. Yep, right there. <laughs> there we go. Now this is one spot where I want to draw attention to the difference between Tuscany and base viticulture. In base viticulture, there's just two action seasons, summer and winter, and then in fall everyone gets to draw a yellow or blue card. In fall in Tuscany, you only get to draw a yellow or blue card with the cottage, or if you're in a good row on the bonus on the wake up chart. Got it. When you pass from winter, you will do all of the wake up steps at the bottom, right below the wake up chart, from right to left. When follow the arrows. Follow the arrows. <laughs> when you when you retrieve workers, this may free up action spaces for others. When you age your grapes and wine. You should also then replenish the tokens that you put on any fields you harvested so that you know that you can harvest them again in the next year. All right. So just to be clear, so if I had a four and a five, for instance, those would just, I'm sorry, over here, they would automatically age provided you had the sellers. Right. right? The, Either so one. They're if right. They grapes too. And then in addition to that, you were talking about just putting the extra ones so you know that you can then harvest these at a later time, like there. Right. Cool. And aging grapes and wine just means they all level up. So yep. the grapes level up too. Cool. Good deal. Then you collect or discard down to seven cards. That's the only time the hand limit matters. Then you can collect your residual payments, which is where you'll get your lira from up there or any bonuses from structures you've built. Then you get to choose your next wake up position. So where... Where do you want to go? What row do you want to have? And what bonuses do you want to have in the next year? And the choice is? Limited to rows two through seven. Okay, and it's top to bottom? Is the order to choose or? So when you pass from winter, so it'll be. So if, if we're, we're all the winter. Yep, if we're all it'll there, be let's someone's say. someone's turn. Okay. And they'll pass and they'll do all of the steps themselves. Got it. And then they'll choose there. So the first one to pass in winter gets first choice next year. You can only choose from rows 2 to 7. The bo one of the bonuses for row 7 is jumping up to row 1. That's the grape in the winter column. So that's the only way to get row 1. I.e. first, for sure. Yeah. So 
higher or closer to one, you get a go sooner, but then your bonuses won't be quite as good. Most of the bonuses are kind of self-explanatory, drawing a card of some color or getting a buck or a victory point. So there's a couple to clarify. Uh, the star is just like the place or move star action. Place one here, right? Same thing. Or move it. Aging grapes, you just get to bunker grape level up again. Cool. So this is the same as that, right? Yeah. Okay. In row seven, you get to hire a temp in summer. So that temp is just an available worker for you this year. Can that break the six worker rule? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. But you can't keep the temp past the end of the year. Okay. And then in row seven in fall, you get to draw a card and you get to pick what color. That's what the gray means. So finally, we're just about ready to start. We just need to pick our mamas and papas. So looking at the mamas and papas, your mama provides you with two workers and with three cards. Some of them give two cards and two bucks, but mostly three cards. And then the papas give you your grande worker and some cash, as well as a choice of some other bonus, usually a structure or some cash. Or so, a worker. Or a worker if you got if you got one of the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> and those were just randomly drawn at the beginning, right? Yep. All right. So let's go ahead, take a minute, reset everything. We need to shuffle up yep. all the all the card decks. So if everybody will grab a deck, we'll let me grab all the grapes over here. So any questions from the peanut gallery while we're uh, while we're resetting everything? I thought that was really thorough. Good job, man. Okay. So, oh, oh and also because folks asked uh, on yesterday's stream or the day before, they said they enjoyed having everybody's player board on the main camera. So I'm going to try and do that. I just wanted to have the zoomed in feature uh, during the teach. And then I will, uh, I'm actually going to move my board up to the bottom left corner so everybody can follow along so we don't have to mess with that. So let me move these. And that's why actually I have these on here so I can move them up there. Well, thanks, Todd. Cool. Also, something about the tokens thing. I only started doing this about one play ago. And I no, I think that's it. a, it's a really, great really good idea. So this board here is going to be for my orange um, just because I don't have room for it on the screen. Okay, so now it's just a matter of choosing one mama and one papa, correct? Yep, and you can choose the mama first in case the cards you draw impact your choice of papa. Ah, okay, all right. So here, let's play along here real quick. So um, diversity seems good, also as does grapes. Um, you know what? I think I will go with uh, Deanne. Yeah, we'll go with Deanne. So, and we just take them, draw them all, take a look at them. And these are all in secret, so no one's going to watch while I'm doing this, I'll bring the chat up here shortly. So let's see here. Ooh. So we just grab what we there. Uh, yeah, we could do this in turn order, but I don't think it's a huge I deal. I don't think so either. All right. So there's those. So she's gone. And once we uh, choose our mama and papa, we can discard them because they don't matter, right? Yeah. All right. So I will go with Gary here because of that. So that's going to get a total of three lira, my grande worker, and uh, an extra worker. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. That'll work. So and I'll throw my money there. Mm -hmm. So I grab one of my extra workers. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Cool. And there is an available workers slot on the board. Oh, good call. Like. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. And if your workers are standing up, it's the perfect width to hold just the six you need. Oh, nice. So. Okay, but since we're playing on the camera. All right, cool. Are we going to lay down or stand them up? Yeah, I'll lay them down. Okay. Um, also, Graham says, are you playing draw two, keep one with the structure cards? No. Okay, we are not. All right. That's a variant that I've seen on Board Game Geek. I haven't tried it out ever okay. for myself. I mean, it just lowers variance, right? Right, because there can be some variance with the structure cards, right. for sure. So, well, here, I'll tell you what. What would you guys, uh, what would you guys prefer? So, oh. you guys watching, we'll leave it up to y'all. So, y'all, we have a minute until we actually have to worry about that. So, we'll do that. Uh, 
You guys let us know, and we'll go from there. All right? Cool. All right, so what's next, Michael? What's next? We need to choose our initial wake-up order. So we need to randomly Randomized. pick one player, and okay. that player will get the first choice. All right. And then... So, rooster... White. white. So Dave, and it's clockwise from there, I assume? Yep. Okay. So I'll go white. And Marnie, last, but first in our hearts. All right. So <laughs> where are you, where are you going, Dave? Number five. All right. Well, there goes that choice. <laughs> All righty. Um, so I was not super keen on... I'm thinking I kind of... So, okay, so planting is here, whereas you can draw cards here. Um, Graham, uh, you cannot pay an extra dollar to hire a special worker for your starting workers, just whenever you're training a worker. Oh, there, there we, we go. Are. Hey, all right. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Good to see you again. All right. Um, you know what? My recipes were terrible, the recipe that I drew. So I'm debating basically going three or four I really wanted five, to be honest with you. Um, but I like the idea of being able to do the structures as well. So I'll go ahead and go four, and I'm left-handed, so we'll face to the left. <laughs> All right, Michael? So there's lots of different card bonuses and stuff, but I'm just going to stick with my usual of, I'm just going to try to train two people this year. So I'm going to go first to guarantee that. Gotcha. All right, and Marnie? And I'm going to go ahead and take position seven. All right. Because I really like the temp. All right. It's very good at the beginning when you don't have many workers. That makes sense. Totally. All right. Cool. So it sounds like uh, so far um, everyone's saying draw two, pick one. All right. Cool. Yep. So, there we go. Done. So just on the orange cards? Yep. Sounds like? Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. What, what's the variant that we're playing? No. With? We're just whenever you draw an orange card, draw two, pick one. Keep okay. one of it. That's it. Keep That's one and discard, discard the other there one. There you go. Got it. Yep. All right. Cool. So green. All right. Let's my go. first Game action on. in spring... This is going to be so exciting for everyone. I'm passing. I get a buck, and I do nothing till summer. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. And place okay. your bets now, y'all. All right. All so, right. oh, it's Edward. Yeah, yeah, it's not clockwise. It's yeah, we in gotta, rooster order. Got to keep your eye on the wake-up right. for this game. Um, actually, I will go ahead and draw two vines. So now I'll jump in real quick. Notice that if you place or move a star, you get to do two stars, and you could use both of those to draw a green card. Oh. So if you went there, you could go there to get the same effect you just got, with a chance at some endgame victory points. Look at you, strategy. I will do that. <laughs> so actually, I will go ahead and place two because of the bonus, so I can place two stars. So I'll put down two down in uh, Grassetto, and nobody look, those are... There you go. There's my draw. Cool. All right. Done. All right. So, so yep. And Dave's up. Dave. And I'm just excited because I get to go there. There you go. So <laughs> draw two. Everyone Sir. gets to draw two. All right. And Marnie. I think I'm going to go for building a structure at a one layer discount. Okay. And I would like to build the irrigation. So I'm taking my one bonus as a discount. So okay, I'm only cool. paying two. If I can find it. Somewhere. And you started with the yoke as well, right? I did. Cool. Will you lay oh. will you lay them down so folks can see it? That your uh, no your structures. Oh. Lay them on their sides. Yes, sir. There you go. I can do that. Cool. All cool. right. So All right. that was purple. So we're back yep. up to yellow in spring. Right, because you have passed. Yep. All right. Sitting again, it out. Till I'm the rustiest the of the bunch. So no, I definitely appreciate it. Because again, as a quick reminder, as much. For myself as anyone else, I have four workers for all year. You don't get them back. Um, so building a structure, so let me see here. So looking, and you have to have, if it has the prerequisite in the top left corner, you have to have built that before you can uh, plant the grapes, correct? That is exactly right. All right, so since I need the trellis, and here I'll move that over, I have to have the trellis to be able to plant anything Looks like, since I have my extra workers, I will go ahead, build one structure of no discount. So that's going to be a total of two lira there, and I will build my trellis. And now we're prepped to go ahead and get some grapes down. Dave. I'm passing. 
All right, so you get a yellow or blue card, sir. All right, and Marnie. I will also pass Which and means... take my temp. All right, and I guess it's just me, so I'm passing. I will go ahead and draw a recipe, or what are these called? Uh, orders. Orders. All right, that wasn't that was better than what it was previously. So there we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we are all now in summer. So Michael, summer. winter, spring, summer. All right, I'm gonna go sell a field. I'll take care of the field before I draw my orange cards. I'll okay. uh, sell my my big one, so I get seven bucks. You definitely seem like you have a play. I'm gonna get smoked on this. <laughs> okay. And then you can draw two draw orange two. cards because of the variant that we're playing. This is the variant. Um, and people can be surprised what you keep when you uh, yeah. when you decide to build it. They'll play along with my cards, but other than that, I'll okay. call it good. We'll discard the cafe and hold on to an orange card. All right. So planting doesn't cost anything. It's just you have to have the prerequisite building, correct? That's right. All right. So... It seems like a good idea. I mean, the game is about making wine. People in chat earlier uh, while you were teaching were talking about the make no wine strategy, but that's oh, obviously yeah. an advanced play that I am not uh, privy to. So I will just go ahead and plant a couple of grapes. So, um, yeah, I don't think I've even attempted the make no wine strategy. Okay. So the closest is maybe filling only one order throughout the game. Okay, so the Pinot <laughs> makes one red and one white. And if I play a second Pinot uh, with it, that would make a two red and a two white, yep. correct? In the same field? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That seems like a not terrible idea, so we'll try that. Done. And I get mm -hmm. to plant two because of the fact that. Because of the bonus, and then you get your two grapes to represent the, there you uh, go so there's, grapes on the vine right there you go just as a reminder and i think it was todd in chat that was mentioning i've never played that but i'm going to now that seems like a genius idea i've also never played with that but that makes so much sense because we just harvest whatever field we want right so it's, many times and you, forget, <laughs> and you forget right so that makes a lot of sense good call all right so that's yellow so dave you're up looks like marnie's the crowd favorite Yep. By a long shot. <laughs> Five, two to two. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go here, take the extra point. Wait, okay. victory points? Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, right. What, what, that's the <laughs> what are we doing? Wait, yeah. <laughs> and I sell that hill win, for guys. five bucks. Oh. And Graham is saying I should have done Pino on two fields. Oh, well, that ship has sailed. Unless Graham bet on me. Let's see, did Graham? No, he bet on Marnie. Oh, so he might be trying to subvert me. <laughs> I'm on to you, Graham. <laughs> All right. Cool. So purple. Is it me? I am purple going to summer. pass. All right. So you I'll choose. take a green card. All right. It's back to me in so. summer. I'll pass, and I get the pride of going first in fall, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, okay. So let's see. Um, playing a yellow card. I don't have any. So, and this is booked up. Remember, we only have two spots because it's four player. Again, saying that as much for myself is anything else and you know what i got nothing better to do so we're gonna pass i will take a yellow this is a visitor right a summer, summer visitor. visitor yeah all right so here is what we drew y'all oh. so there we go oh i'm not too worried about it um <laughs> yeah all right cool easy enough all right good done all right and i will pass all right take a blue cards or a winter card so that fall for me? Yep. Well, I said I was going to train two workers, so I can't do that till winter, so I'm going to just pass again. And it's back to Edward for fall. Wow. Oh, because you're training extra workers, right? That was your whole first year. Yep. Was that, that was the, the crux of your plan. So harvesting <coughs> makes sense at this point. Um, so let's see, playing, no. Training, I started with the extra workers, so I don't mind missing out there. Um, and to be able to sell wine, you must have harvested a field. Oh, and that's why he was saying to put it on two different, because then I would get extra wine. That makes sense. So El Grande it is, but we're going to just go ahead and take the extra one lira and going to harvest just one field. So it harvests both, correct? Yep. So that's going to be a two red 
and a two white, and done. That's right. And okay. if you had put them on both fields, you wouldn't be able to quite harvest yet because, well, you'd be able to attempt to harvest both, but you'd already have a red one when you're trying to harvest another red one. Yeah, so you would call. end up with one and one. But it might set you up for the future. For, years. for the future. Got it. Okay. So. Yep. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yep. I got that. Okay. So Dave gets a star, sir? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. And I want monies. Uh, so Pisa for two? Sounds perfect to me. Okay, so two lira, two quiche. All right, and Marnie. Yes. And Marnie I would like to build a structure for a one lira discount, so I will just pay one Again, to build my trellis. That side of the table seems to definitely have plans here. Mm -hmm. um, well done. We've All right. played this a couple times. Right, yeah. You <laughs> said this is probably like... 30 plays? This, this is my 30th with my <laughs> Board Game Geek logged plays. All right, that's... Yeah, we should have told that before we said place your bets, but yeah, that's okay. Hashtag right. bad teacher. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Well, well you know, you, you said that you were the rusty one. Uh -huh. This is my wife's favorite game, so I you're play used it to, all the time. And you're I'm used, used to, to losing. losing. All right, yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just all like right. Robin, Shard's got it down. So I have no workers. Ergo... Not much choice. I shall pass. So two orange cards. Pick and, the one you fancy. Right? And Marnie, <laughs> it's Exciting. all you. Waiting. All me in fall. fall still, I will be passing. So okay. The grapes, which just sets you up for row one. Okay, so rows. here, for the folks at home to see what bad choices I make. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, both of those are kind of cool. Oh, no. Uh, I feel like I feel like that might end up better for me. Um, this, but this actually, if I have wine, this actually sets me up and it saves me an action. This is in-game scoring. Those are residual. We're gonna go with that one. We're gonna keep that. We'll discard the gazebo, and we'll keep Mercado. Cool. All right, done. All right, so we're ready to start up winter now. I'm a man of my word. I will train. All right. So, so seven, right? Three bucks. Well, only get to train one worker at a time. Fair point. Okay. So first I will be paying five, but the bonus is one. So I just pay four to do a special worker. Aha. So right. instead of one of these guys, I'll take the merchant. So I'll put him over there so I know I can't train him. And a oh, merchant and this goes there. That allows you to, if you're the last person to play... In that season, you get to draw a card, correct? Right. Yeah, if everyone has passed, when I play the merchant, the merchant also will draw me any card I want. Cool. All right. Good deal. All right. And so... So, going down. Um, I, I Again, I am passing. So, so now I do right. all of this, yeah. right? So, retrieve my workers. So, yeah. so, one thing I like to do with this is move my rooster along there so I know exactly oh, that, which step I'm on. There you go. Another one with that. All right. So, I got my four. So, age my grapes and wine so they each move one. Good so thing our grapes don't up. rot. They get better. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Make right. them in wine right away. Discard to seven. I think I have six. So, yep. So, we're, we're good there. Collect my zero residual payments and now choose my wake up position. Um, so I do have one vine left that. Uh, you know. It's either five or seven for me. Um, and I already have a bunch of cards, so let's go ahead and take the extra worker. Done. All right. Oh, and you can reset your Pinot field with two fresh tokens. Good call. All right, so that'll be ready for next year now. Cool. All right, done. Dave, you're up. Uh, I'm going to get another worker. And I'm going to take this fellow here. Okay. So that costs five. So understand and does that help you guys have any overlay there with the merchant and the messenger? This is the first time we've tried something like that. Like I said, because the glare was really, really bad on the cards and we couldn't fix it to where you guys could read them as well because we had to zoom out far enough to have all the player boards on there. So let us know. So for future use. Okay, so uh, cost five. Five for the special. All right. And Marnie's up for winter. 
Alright, so I kind of miscalculated when I was deciding what I wanted to do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, so I'm going to play a winter visitor. I will Let, get... Lay him down. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No worry, no, no, I'm terrible no at this. No, no, uh, see, I'm used to it. It's funny, yeah. like even when you play off stream now, I'm cognizant of the camera above, <laughs> so it's, it's pretty funny. Um, so yeah. I take a Lyra. The card I will be playing is the Assessor. Gain one Lyra for each card in your hand, or discard your hand, minimum of one card, to gain two victory points. I like that card. Which is what I am going to do. Wait, um, which, which one? So I will be discarding, discarding my hand. hand for two victory cards. Two what I'm sad about was I had two pretty awesome vines and okay. I got excited when I drew the same one uh -oh. without realizing that that just meant I was also going to have to discard it. <laughs> so I'm you just going to keep my actually. fingers crossed that I draw some good vine cards later on. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so that brings it back to me in winter and I'll take my grande to go to the training spot, training space and I need to pay five this time to train gonna... the other special. Wow, okay. Note to self, going to get <laughs> housed. Okay, all right, cool. All right, good. Okay. And back to Dave. It Winter. is my turn, and I am passing being. I have no more people to call. All right, so retrieve your workers, sir. And age your grapes in your... Or womp, womp, womp. <laughs> You're down to less than seven? I have seven. Okay, so good. And collect your zero residual. And That's where right. would you like your rooster to go, sir? That's a good question. So, for those that have not played, which I'm, I'm wondering how many of y'all have not played this, um, because this is, you know, it's kind of an older game. Not old, like but... Like 2013? Yeah, so edition. I mean, it's, yeah. what, four years old now? Yeah. So, um, are you guys able to follow along now that you've seen most of a first year? I think I will go with number two. Two it is. All right. Okay, so Marnie, you're up. <coughs> and I will be training a worker. I have to put him on that spot. And I will, of course, pay extra to have a really awesome one. And I think I'm going to go with the messenger. So the 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 messenger and the um, and the merchant work as regular workers if you want them to, but they also have a nice additional perk is yep, what right. it is. All right. Just like cool. the grande worker. Okay, all right. Yeah, the very first time I played this was right after we got the Kickstarter of the original. And so for me, um, we didn't have the Grande Worker. Changed everything. Mm -hmm. It went from oof to oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, we've really been enjoying this actually. So no wine, discard down to say you're good and nothing. And what would you like, sir? Well, I'm guaranteed to go third. So which of those bonuses do I want? Okay. Save Let's some see. time, that's smart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's and see. I'm oh. the only one with wine. Let's huh. go four. All right. And Marnie, like what would cards. you like? Since you uh, have... I have no choice, actually. I go oh, straight to right. number one. Yep, because of the grapes. Yes. And call. I had yep. no cards, and I had no... <laughs> <laughs> no money, nothing else. I, I am done. I'm a popper. Sorry, everyone who uh, bet on me. <laughs> All right. Hey, so, it's just your one. So here, real quick. So we're just oh, going to yep. move this just as a reminder for kind of ourselves as well as y'all. Hey, this is now the uh, the second year. Yeah, okay. so we've right. completed year one. There you go. Cool. All right. Good deal. All right. And done. So, um, Marnie, so, you're up. Oh, no. Were you ready Let's for this? See, I was kind of ready for this. Um, well, as we already saw, oh, I wow. have no more vines, so getting some fields is good. I'm going to go ahead and if you need me to reach. draw there you two. Go. Okay, cool. Cool. Please be good. Or not be bad, at least, right? <laughs> I'm going to build this. Nope, build a structure down here. So that's oh, yes. for a buck discount, I assume. So. Yes, yes. Uh, see, I am going to build my irrigation. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make that available. There we go. Oh. And so that cost me two. All right. So hmm. that's my turn now? Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, it is, yes. Sorry, I keep which thinking. did you build? The uh, irrigation. Irrigation, cool. Um, I will go here to build... Well, I'm going to build the structure card from my hand 
for two, I'll build the cask. So it's a, an action structure, so it gives me an action where I can draw a card and age a wine twice. Oh. And I get a victory point. In addition, so you or are... Right now playing? I score a victory point. Right, there we yep. go. So you get to, so potentially you could age three steps in one year, because by mm -hmm. taking the action, you can, wow. Hashtag draw better, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to know. Um, so I still have to make wine. So that's harvest, and then make up to two wine tokens right there. This oh, and he back. actually, no, he should, oh, not oh, until yeah, summer. We forgot, not to, until summer. we forgot to do that in the retrieving step. Okay. Um, I, again, I will, since I have the extra worker, I already have those, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a field and hope I draw well. And here's what we drew. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Done. All right. So that's back to Marnie in spring. Okay, so what I'm kind of doing is figuring out what I want to do on all of my future turns this year, which, you know, I could be thwarted at any moment. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going but first. You'll have, you'll have first shot, first every, shot season. every season. So that's, that's kind of nice. true. What I'm stuck on is whether the last thing I want to do, I don't think I can do it unless I do something else the right name, now. The name of the grape doesn't matter. It's just the color being able to plant total, right? That's right. Okay, cool. All right. Now, is there a and the way... the name matters so little, it gets covered up when you... Oh, fair point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Also get money. Uh, let's see. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and plant. That's right, Graham. Two. I should have done that. Nope, nope, not yet. We're still in spring. Marnie, Marnie we're still in spring. Oh. See? I, you could send your messenger ahead. She does the exact same thing. I could, get, but I don't like, think I want this to. This is what I'm doing. She, oh, wait, that's no, not wait. Um, then Don't I, you have to send your messenger... I think I need to... ...on your very first turn? No. 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 The messenger... Okay. ...is will. your first action for that season when he gets there. So right. if Marnie were to send her messenger so now, she, okay. that's her first action for summer, yeah. as the example. Okay. Messenger is not quite so useful when you're already going first. This right. is true. Um, that, that's so a fair point. <laughs> I, I think I'll just pass. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows what I'm going to do at the I, next well, season. <laughs> but it's well, okay. we can't stop you. No one can right. stop me. <laughs> Unless they put a messenger, correct? Oh, yeah, that's true. That would be the There is a reason to do messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't worry, I don't okay. have any green cards yet. Right, so. yep. <laughs> so. I'm going to send my messenger so. up oh. here. Yeah, I should have. I need to remember to do that oh, instead. Marty yep. could have done that too. Yep. All right, so Dave is, has a message for the future. All right. So So that's me uh -huh. in spring. Let's go here. Yeah. Yep. If you didn't, I was going to take that action. Yeah. Ah, it's all right. I'll learn. I'll learn. I want, let's see, this. I need to get up to four bucks for this. So I'll put a star, one in Pisa and one in Siena. So that's going to be three bucks, three bucks. Three lira. Okay. Well, and there went that idea. Work. Now, so I don't have a ton of money. I only have two lira right now. So I'm trying to think, okay, planting doesn't cost anything. Harvesting doesn't cost anything. Making wine doesn't cost anything. Really, building structures and training are the main ways we're going to spend money, I am at, right? Am yeah, I forgetting that's the main anything? thing for Those are the two. So you can also trade, and then some cards will give you... Sure. Whatever effects for in exchange for cash. Let's go ahead and pass. We'll take our extra worker. Done. All right. So Dave in spring. I'm passing. And you get a buck. And sir. Um, let's go for some more money. And this is where the merchant will come in. I'll give a tour. And then the merchant's special ability allows me to draw a card now. Of since your everyone else has passed. Oh, okay. Let's take a green card. All right. And? And now I'll pass. And a and purple. And purple. 
Cool. And now we begin summer, Marnie. I, I wonder what I'm going to do. I have no idea. <laughs> what? I no will way. plant. What a and um, I noticed there was someone who thought Edward should have placed these on separate fields, but I'm actually going to do the exact same thing that he did. Okay. The reasoning is if I go to harvest this and they're on separate fields, then oh, I can one only them, harvest one of them. One of them is the completely first season, useless correct. until yeah. I build something else yeah. on top of it. So I'd rather have it be useful right that away. That makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right. Being this game is about planting and harvesting fields. Gonna gonna plant a field. I'm gonna plant fields. <laughs> yes. And uh, planting this one here. So based on what you guys, what I'm watching at the table here, and seeing Michael having sold and money is. I hear tight. Um, selling a field is awfully tempting, to be honest with you, uh, because I just, especially with being planting right there, I think I will. So I'll, you know what? I don't trust the hired worker to, <laughs> to get the best price. Um, and card wise, I'm pretty much loaded for bear right now. So I don't, I'm not too concerned about getting a card so I'll just go ahead and get a point and then I will go ahead and sell my big boy for seven lira and finished. Yeah, Marcus is right that at the start of the game money's a bit tight but by the end it doesn't matter too much. Gotcha. All Though right. it is the first tiebreaker okay. at the end if we All right, good to know. All right, cool. So that was yellow. Marnie? I am going to place my messenger on that one. Okay. Cool. Harvest for a buck. All right. So here, I'm gonna put it there just so we remember to get you. You get your buck then. Okay. Oh, let's do it for Dave too then. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool. All right. And Should then. Should we uh, stand Dave? them up since all of the used cards? Are that's used actually. Tokens are that's a good idea. So the messengers will stand up, and then when we actually use it, we'll lay them down. Good call. All right. Ooh. All right. So that Not makes it my turn. really hard. You know, that's kind of kind of a mantra for life. Yes. Not having money makes life hard. <laughs> Banker <Yeah>. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll place my grande here to play a yellow card so I get a buck. Then I'll play the blacksmith. Um, to the your there you go, right there. Somewhere. There you go. Perfect. Uh, build a structure at a two lira discount. If it is a five or six lira structure, also gain one victory point. So I'll build my large cellar for four, and then score a victory point for that. And you are green. I am green. Okay. And uh, that's right, they're one-time use. Right, right, yep. right, right, right. Okay, so that was green, yellow, wow, okay. Um, I just don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, That's right. I do have my grande worker if I want to use it to double up to make something else. And you know what? It might be short-sighted, but we're going to go ahead and plant. And we will uh, a Mavazia. So another white. And, oh, and everyone yeah. can uh, take tokens Good. for their newly planted vines. Good call. Right. So there. Done. Thank you, sir. All right. Yep. Marnie? I am going to sell a field because, as someone just noted, <laughs> it's really hard to have no money. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and sell, I think, uh, I don't know. I'll sell the five. I'll be a little conservative. Just okay. in case there's some really high value wines okay. that I would and like you get later to draw on. Two orange. Two man. orange and keep one. All right, cool. So, Dave. I'm passing. So, Dave, congratulations. You get the honor of going second. Um, I will send my messenger off to winter. Or just there you go. Off next yep. to the one buck. Bonus. Uh, and Edward's turn. Yep. Hmm. Could I, can I 
ask a quick question? Yeah. Could I have chosen my structure card before I sold my field? Uh, yes, because you the, can always do the, the bonuses bonus first. So yeah. if you want to swap it, can I swap yeah. which yeah. field I totally sold? Totally fine. Yep. It's having yep. seen what I drew, yeah, that makes, I no, that am makes going total to sense. want yeah. extra money. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pass, and so I have two workers. I kind of have plans for both of them, um, but I. I will, I feel like the structures are kind of a wild card, but they eh. definitely are. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and draw blue. Done. Okay. And so back to morning for summer. And I have no more workers, so I'll be passing. Oh. Same for me. Okay. So I get a yellow card. And that's what we drew. Right. Cool. All right. And then, Marnie, you get to uh, start us off in fall. So your messenger. So Woo! you get one buck, and you can harvest the field. So I get a level two red and a level two white. All right. And Dave, um, yeah. you get to build the structure or get three bucks. I am going to build the structure. Okay. For a one lira discount. And I'm building my trellis. All right. Wow. Um, so that's me. this one time. I would like to do all three of these. I'm just, saying, <laughs> just, just saying. So oh, oh, before you do that, that my turn. So I got so, two. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, because you have no workers. Yep. Until you get to winter. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, so I have. So legitimately, there are five things I still want to do this turn. So one, two, three, four, and five. So. <laughs> So it's a, a, a quite, I feel like having wine is going to be really, really important. So we'll go ahead, harvest two fields, correct? Yep. So that means this is one field, meaning a two white and a two red. And on top of that, I will harvest the one white. It seems like a good thing to do. We'll see. Lots save. of grapes. Yep. Lots of potential. All right. So back to Marnie. And I have to pass. All right. Welcome, Jeropato. I or am passing. You are a pot, though? And back to Edward for fall. <sighs> so, the age wine, so this is going to be important here, is I can make up to two wine tokens, possibly up to three wine tokens. So I could go uh, those two white and a red, because I can't do any more than that, because I don't have a cellar, which... I'm planning on building for next year. So I think I can wait on making the wine, or I could build, but then I don't train the extra worker. And I have plenty of money to be able to train, or I, oh, <laughs> gross. Um, it's a worker placement, so having workers seems important. So you know what, we can always, we can always build here since I'm going to go first anyways. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and pass on that. Worry about the worker potentially. So I will pass and get the honor of going first in the spring. Done, Marnie. Cool. Um, I will, of course, pass. So she can start doing that. All right. So oh, retrieving yeah, and then age. Age and reset your harvested exciting. fields. I should have a couple of those. And here I'm just so we don't forget. Good call. There we go. Age, discard down to seven, and Only no residual, one. and then choose, ma'am. I'm feeling a little aimless without any cards, so I think <laughs> I'm going to go for row four. All right. I'm really glad that I'm actually listening to Graham with, like, I'm, like, I'm not reading <laughs> what he's suggesting, but I'm doing it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to. Oh, wait, no. Independent thought. And, yes. and I needed, by the way, I took a risk. I'll take my worker, please. Your white. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. I took a risk because if both Marnie and Dave went here because I don't have my grande worker, I wouldn't be able to train. So I took a risk, but I knew that Michael had that. Cool. All right. So done. And then I will. Oh, it's, uh, Sorry, I was just ahead. playing yeah, yeah, my blue card you're fine. with my messenger. So the politician, if you have less than zero points, gain six bucks. Otherwise, draw a green, a yellow, and a purple. Wow. 
nice. You draw really. And maybe I'm not holding my mouth right when I draw. Maybe that's it. <laughs> so okay, let me see the two the two cards again for the two special workers because I'm gonna do one of those. So you guys can go ahead. So Dave, you while I decide which one. Yeah. So here's here's my five. So no. Dave, are you all out of workers? So you need to yeah, I'm do the passing steps and then me too. And so uh, gather your workers is the first thing. Yeah. You know what? Because I'm going to be first here, the messenger doesn't mean nearly as much. So I'll go ahead and take the I have shot. six <laughs> cards. So here, nothing put this else up there for the merchant, please. And which is the lady? My choice is number seven. Seven. Okay. And I'm Michael? discarding a card. Or I did okay. that. So now I need to take choose. care, James. Thanks for stopping by. Um. Hmm. No, you don't have to just go ahead. It's a small pop. Let's go for three. Okay. And now for me, I will pass. I'm out of workers, so get all my workers, including my new merchant. That's a lot better. All right, so there's that. Michael's so set of workers is crazy. <laughs> so four, three... Four, three, two. And then reset the fields. Good call. So if that was an official rule, it could be on the board right there. But. They're, they're, <laughs> right. So there'll be one there, one there, and one there. And then I do have to discard, I think. So three. No, I'm actually at seven, so we're good there. Nice. Cool. All right. So collect my zero residual and I choose to go first. Done. And I've already moved it, so we're in <coughs> year three. All right, so first action. Well, uh, I have four lira. I desperately need the medium seller. Uh, I might as well get it for a discount. So build one structure for one less. So that'll be three lira total there, which is the medium seller and not the offset one. Boom, done. What now, is it, what is now to say? we can glory find to Rome. Him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, really? I Marty. needed that discount. Oh. <laughs> All right. I guess I wanted it. All right. So, uh, and I really Marty wanted is officially to not a part of the herd my now. Grande as my first action. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, building the trellis. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. Love you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do have the option, and I think I'm going to do so. Well, it would, no, it still costs you your grande. Never mind. Go no, ahead. No, yep. because th that action is mm. also repeated in a later season. It is. And yep. it's not important not for me to do it right now. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and plan Send a there very you go. well. Yep, there you <laughs> go. Very smart. And it's Dave's turn. He had to step out for a minute. So, um, so, so I assume since he's played it 30 times, you're pretty close behind in that number? Uh, pretty close. might be the same number. Okay. Not exactly the same. Because right. I have played oh, with other yeah. people other than you. Know, <laughs> Todd's yeah. like, well. didn't think we would see a glory to Rome today. Really <laughs> and viticulture? Of course. Well, everyone says it's relaxing compared to... Well, like Agricola or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even on the wine theme, Vinos. Oh yeah, Which I learned Vinos last time. is, is yeah. way way harder. Yeah. I think it's a it's a tougher game, but um, they they share a theme, but I well, don't yeah, feel like they they're don't. anything alike whatsoever. Yeah. So. I think it probably depends on how elaborately you plan. Sure. I yep. like to plan really far in advance, and then I can be thwarted very easily yeah. and have to start over. Yeah, these bonuses can be pretty important, Dave. Okay. Yeah, the bonuses can make a big difference on your plan. Yep. <laughs> this one, too. Here, right here. My way. Keep coming. <laughs> there you go, right there. Like he disappeared. Yeah, so yeah I have there a big impressive Spine workforce, but right. I still don't have any actual, like, wine-making so, stuff. So Marnie busted out of glory to Rome. You missed. So <laughs> plug in. Bandage. By who? Uh, well, well, kind of me and Michael tag-teamed, kind of. <laughs> he got the bonus, and then right. I got the other space. And then Marnie really desperately wanted to be able to get the dollar discount, and she couldn't, so she decided to use her messenger 
and to go forth. Okay, so you're up. That happens sometimes. It does, <laughs> it does. Indeed. Hmm. Yeah, it's a relaxing game, but still, can, it still has I, some meaningful decisions, which is what really, really matters. So. That's plant an extra one, right? Of course you are. <laughs> yes. It is. Um, <laughs> we sent our messengers forth. Uh, oh, man. I'm looking at my cards. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. Now, when it says upgrade your cellar to the next level, meaning build the next one? Right. So, okay. yeah, you can't build your large cellar without having built the medium gotcha. one. Gotcha. So. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you've got both your cellars. But nothing to go in them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, at least you have fields planned. Oh, gosh. We are broke, aren't we? <laughs> we are broke. Yes, we are. So... I will place or move two stars because because <laughs> <laughs> I, I have learned after making that mistake twice. Um, I hear money is important, so I will go ahead and throw that for a couple of bucks or two lira, and then I'm really not using the cards really, really well. Uh, but I think I will actually go to Laverno um, and draw a yellow as well with the two lira. All right, done. I will place a star. And here, oh, that worked out really well, okay. I'm going to... Uh, nice. Arezzo. Yeah, go with it. Horrible no. Italian no. attempt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good, good enough. Okay, cool. Draw so purple. Green. Right. purple. Say what I will. Go ahead and give a tour, and I'm going to do the bonus so I can have three coins. Okay. Because. All right. Cool. Hey, Gio, welcome. Martin, the merchant, if you are if you place the merchant and everyone else has passed in your season, you get to draw any card. Right. So that's why, honestly, I didn't really want to necessarily place my stars. I would have preferred to save my worker, but I was trying to stall, hoping people would pass. I failed in that. <laughs> um no yeah, one has passed. Can you <laughs> seriously, I... You know what? To hell with all you people. I will all pass. Right. All right, green. I'll pass. Oh, this is not good. I like hearing that. Right. <laughs> uh, this is not And I will also pass. So that I can't draw triple. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right, so now... Uh, Dave. Dave in spring. Yep. I am passing. All right, so get your temp worker, a seasonal worker. All right, so we are in spring. So I will go ahead and play a card and get a Lyra. And the card I will play is wonderful if you're me. <laughs> okay. Oh no. um, so here, I'll. Uh, so it is the Swindler. Each opponent may give me two Lyra. For each opponent who does not, I gain a victory point. So, Take so we'll, hold on. We'll do it. We'll do it in turn, turn order. order. Okay. So yeah. we'll go green. You may give me two coins, or I get a victory point. Take the point. Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank you. And now uh, we will go, uh, Marnie. Would you like to give me two lira? Or? I would not. Okay. <laughs> then, then I will graciously accept I'm your gift. Just of a rose point. from poverty. Right. <laughs> and my friend Dave. I would happy, happily give you two bucks. The problem is, there's nothing there. Oh, that's <laughs> horrible. So I'm going to have to get three oh, points out of that? card just that's gave you terrible. four points. Man. Or three. Just three. That's terrible. All right. Well, we, we all have crosses we must bear. That's right. <laughs> all right. And I did get one lira out of the deal by going. So that works yeah. out. I'm happy with that. All right. I don't think I'm going to get much use for my merchant this year, so I'll use her as a regular worker to plant one vine. Oh, because this is actually used, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. yeah. Good yep. call. So I'll plant the pinot. And don't forget to put your, your markers. Thank you. And when you're going last, it's a really good thing to... I reckon that. it is. All right. Good yep. to know. So right, Marty's Marty. up in summer. Me. Summer, summer, Man, summer. nothing from the peanut gallery about that play. Uh, it's three yeah. points. That's what <laughs> the sneeze at right there. Yeah. I will go ahead 
and pass. All right, Marnie so, uh, gets, gets a, a yellow, yellow, and Dave I here. I have to do that as my first action. Right, so two greens, or oh, man. plant two fields, or <laughs> two cards at least. There we go. All right, max so, out that field. So go ahead and add the two tokens. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Um, so that was Dave. Back to me. Uh, trading. So let's see. I think I'm okay for money right now. I need to look. I had a right there. Okay. Good. Um, no, oh, no. Man. Well, I guess I'm not planting Hello. anymore. That's awfully tempting, though. Uh... I will pass? Question mark? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will pass. Done. I'm going to send a messenger off to the training house. All right. Okay. Geo says, you're a mean dude, Edward. I put my money on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dave and Summer. I'm going to go here with my temp, temp yep. worker. Okay, so, so you I get, get to do two, 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 two trades. Two See Thank that. you, Franny, and that's a really poor choice, just so you know. Um, I appreciate it, both you and Geo, but I don't like our chances today, but I promise to <laughs> give it the old college try. Uh, and my first trade is going to be trade in two cards, and I can then do any of these, including get two more cards, right? That's right. And I'll take a green one. Okay. And you have no, to pick both cards before you look at either of them, though. So. Oh, okay. And, and Todd, it's only one point per player or two dollars per player, so it'd be up to ten bucks or five points, not ten points. Okay. All right. So. And the second action I will take is trade. Uh, I need three bucks, and I will lose a victory point. Do what now? For what? His second trade. My second oh, trade. Oh, gotcha. Bonus okay, so trade. down a victory point, back yes. to the start. He blew a tire. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. And right. back to green, it's just you two, fellas. Me? Okay, I'm going to play a couple of yellow cards. Okay. So first I'll play the patron oh, over here. There you go. Uh, gain four lira or draw a purple and a blue. Call me crazy, but I am partial to that card. As a all you know, the heavy a guy who has <laughs> patrons. So how many? How many is that? Six hundred fourteen patrons. Nice. Yes. I'll uh, take the four bucks. All right. And then my second yellow card will be the buyer. Uh, pay two lira to place a level one white or red grape on your crush pad, or discard a grape for two lira and a point. I will buy the grape. Okay. So cool. So a we'll white. All right. Done. Done. All right. Back to Dave. I'm passing. All right, choose a card of your choice, sir, and Michael. So I pass and I'll take a yellow. Okay. All right, we are now in fall. Okay. I have got to make wine. So, oof. I am just not using her well at all, but I need the, uh, the versatility of the Grande worker. So I'm going to make, so that is make up to three wine there. So now that I have my medium seller, I will go ahead and make, I need to probably look at what probably I Probably a good idea. Um, what do I need to make? Yeah. So I'm going to make a three white. I'm going to make a four white. And I'm going to make a... Or red as well. Done. So Michael had to step Not out wine. for a minute. Yeah, I figure making three wine makes sense to do that first thing, right? Yeah, because if you like don't, it. someone someone else is will. definitely now that you guys are yeah. producing wine or have yeah. have in the crush pad where at least Marnie does. I'm delaying making wine because I don't have any larger sellers. So Why at not? least while they remain Why? Why as grapes, they can one? keep oh, getting more valuable. That's right. That's I, I have some big <laughs> dreams that I need big money for, and soon I will be poor again. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, stop me if you've heard that before. I have big dreams that cost big money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in other words, life, right? Life, All right. Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. yes. Definitely Good deal. So. All right. One so. one critical difference between this game and the other is this, and the basic game. Is oh, this. really? Okay. Allowing you right. to trade cards for. Oh, well, that was stuff. done. That that was easy, Marty. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Okay, um, and I have to use my yes. my person. So, so. I assume going to build one for oh, a yes. discount. Oh yes, yes, I am going to build one <laughs> for a discount. So I will be paying eight. Great. So it's Googly. a nine Googly. card. Um, to build the statue, so I get a victory point right now for building you this are purple. card, right. and I now get a residual payment of a victory point, so I was thinking we could maybe well, just put one of these near my little dude for now. Hmm. I don't well, know how to... remember? Just or? to help me remember. You know what? I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Why don't you just put it on oh, the one? Hold on. You're purple? Yes. Right? You can't use that worker. Let me have that worker. Okay. And this will be a reminder along with... We'll along do this. With the year, that little guy? Along yeah. with the year token? Yeah. Okay. That way, we'll every time back. the year moves, that means Marnie gets a point. Okay. Cool. That'll work. All right. Cool. And since the statue did enter play, there's one kind of edge case rule about it. Okay. If the statue scores your 25th point, that does not trigger the end game because... It's 25 by the end of winter, and then the residual payments are after winter. Oh, okay. Good to know. So we would so, actually play one more. If she got a 26th, then it would be because she would have already had 25. Right. At the yeah. End. Got it. Okay. All right. Probably cool. won't matter, but good to know no, about no. in case it cool. does. Cool. Yeah, good so. stuff. All right, Dave, you're up. Oh, there's so much I want to do. I am going to come over here and... That way you can harvest two fields, right? I'm sorry? Yep. Yes. yes yep. Sir. yep. Exactly. So what two are you doing, sir? These two fields. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's a five and a one. Okay. And a three. Cool. All right. So that was white back to yellow. Um, well, isn't that interesting? I actually can make more wine. Huh. Or I could harvest and be done for the year. Oof. Just have the grande left. Yeah. Um. Oh man, this is brutal. The choices, and it it's great in that respect. But <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm actually going to hold that. So I will go ahead. And take my Grande Worker and harvest the field, which gets me a Lyra there. So harvest one field, so I will go ahead and get the two. Yeah, might as well. So it'll be a two and a one, because the two's full for the white, so it's one less. Cool, yep. All right, so that's yellow. Marnie? So, um, I will... I, I'm having this struggle, um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to harvest using my yoke, but I'm trying to decide whether I should wait in order to delay my turns in winter in the hope that something I already know is taken will be removed, because Michael only well, has one worker, so... So my second waited, turn in winter will be passing, and that'll free up. That would free it up, but... Potentially, someone else could take it before it gets oh, back to well, me anyway. Well, okay. it'll free up right after my turn, so it'll free up. You'll have the first shot it'll at the free up train right with the discount. Me. See, I, you mentioned that during the teach, and it didn't sink in until this moment. The fact yeah. that when you pass in winter, your workers come home, and it frees up those spots. Yeah. So I guess that's another, I, uh, if I'm that's guaranteed clever. for that, I don't know. It's also it's just the difference between a regular worker and a special worker for me. And I'm not quite sure that the is it the merchant. I'm not quite sure that the merchant is really worth it. So yeah. I could also just be passing myself sooner, which would give me earlier pick of my position, which is also excellent. 
Andrew, so, take care. Thanks for joining us. I think I'm just going to go ahead and harvest now harvest. with my own little yoke. All right, cool. And so that, that's um, purple. That retrieving the workers thing and freeing up space is another difference from the base viticulture. In the base viticulture, everyone just does the year-end steps all together after ah, after all okay. of the uh, I'm, I'm interactions. Casting. Okay, so Dave, you get the honor of grapes. Okay, all right, cool. And uh, yeah, well, I'm out of workers, so this is going to be a very quick winter. Back to Marnie. Back to me, pass. Take care, Carol. And draw two, keep one orange. And in right. winter, I'll uh, no. I'll oh, go ahead and right. pass. So this actually retrieves. Oh. That sounds like good or bad. I, and then, uh, these are so good. Uh, no, I, I had to put one discount. back. I've never <laughs> experienced this before. It was always just draw one, take what you got. <laughs> nice. Draw one, and you better like what you got. <laughs> All right. So there's that. So now, age everything. So one, All right. one, one. So. Those two, there and there. That's that's really nice having all these grapes and wine to be able to actually make use of. Yeah, that. I feel like I'm behind right now. <laughs> all right, so I have seven cars, okay. so we're good there. And then uh, no residuals, okay. and I will choose and my then, wake up. Uh, I took the first winter action, so it's your turn Great. in winter, Marnie. I'll take this. I'll pay a full price to train a normal worker. And Dave's turn in winter. I will go third. All right, cool. I'm going to go here and play two blue cards. Or, wait a minute. Yes. Play them up here so folks can see. Ah, that's a good idea. Ah, play them so one at a time. Kind of. <laughs> right, yeah. That's very sad. <laughs> Gain three dollars and draw one yellow card. The yeah, other part of that was small, all, but... or draw some uh, something else. The second one that I'm playing is pay one dollar to gain one point there. Oh, one residual. residual payment. Woo. Very nice. You know what? Here, just so I can remember, since I was the first player. And I passed. We'll advance all this, which means Marnie's going to get her point there. From done. the statue. Yep, okay. there we go. Okay. Well, I'm done. Cool. So. so now it's my turn in winter. Yep. So now I'm passing. Every Doing time I things. look up at the screen, this being crooked, I keep wanting to straighten it. I'm like, <laughs> why is it? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Age grapes and wine. I'm seven. at my seven. And collect residual, which Nada. is none, and choose. Sir. Uh, let's go two. All right. Marnie? I will also be passing. Okay, so get your workers. Age your wine and grapes. Remember to take this guy. And then Dave could start retrieving and stuff. No, I'm or, going to oh, play my Oh, he's still, here. he's still going. And I will be $3. Three dollars. Oh. Okay, three I don't know. My last take guy. Take away. I'm choosing position six. Right, okay. And now I get to pass. Put me in number one. Number one. Yep. Oh yeah, because you were set automatic. Right. Okay, I, I should do. I should do it. Yep. Retrieve right. workers. Uh, oh yeah, and then reset any fields that you harvested from. Good call. Yes. Get more. More. Uh, more. Uh, but juice. this is the important one. I get money because I'm on a one. Oh yep. Dave. Dave makes some residual payments now. And then do I now? Why? He gets uh, he gets oh, a residual. That's right. That's yep. right. Okay. And Marnie does with the victory point. Yep, we're right. Yep. As the reminder. Which you there. already gave yep. me. You're yep. good. Yes. Okay. Cool. So every time the first player, either I, every time I pass, I will take care of the year and give you your point. As okay. Well. All right. So Dave, it is your oh, honor. So. Uh, reset the fields that you harvested oh, with yeah. your with new Thank with you. fresh tokens. It's very hard to adjust to doing that when it's since it's a new variant. Played forever for without oh, sure. it. <laughs> See, not hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> not ingrained in any ways. Right. All right. So wow. Dave, start us off. Wow! 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 So. Okay. Hmm. All right. So. Well, I think what I will do is to start us off i will go here so i can place two cards two stars star and, man and um 
There's no stars. Perfect. Done. In one of these places. I'm going to go for a green card here. All right. Please. And, and for your second? The second one, I'm going to go up here where nobody is. And get a forense eye for a blue. All right. Uh, green. So, Michael, you're up. All right. Well, I would have loved to place two stars. But alas. Um, let's make some money. You guys are all right in my book. I don't no. care. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says about y'all. I think you're okay. So, build one structure for one discount. Oh, look at that. A large seller costs six. I have five. Good job. There you go. All right. Done. Well done, guys. Way to be Team Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marnie, you're up. Oh, no. It's already me. Well, things I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted you. to give it to her now, here, with a bonus. Now, here, just to be clear, you could have chosen... Something else. I gone could have. Me. Yeah. Um, strategically, I really want to age my griefs twice. Okay. Um, All right. And in order for that to actually pay off, I need some sellers. <laughs> well, for which I need some money. Money. Oh, well, you don't need the seller yet because the grapes will age in winter. Well, yes. If you turn yes. them into wine, then she's you just trying to think ahead. Yeah, right? they're, yeah. they're pretty expensive, sure. and yeah, I went right back to being poor. Hope you were worth it, <laughs> statue. <laughs> Well, I mean, if we play another four turns, that will be five. That'd be five points total. Yeah. That's that's pretty strong. I feel like. Yeah, that's okay. That's you know, total. if you go here, it's just three or one point per three lira. So you paid nine lira, so you'd expect at least three points from it. More than right. three, you're yep. probably doing better. Sure. Let's see. Think about a future field sale. That seems rather risky. To only Ooh, to only one. have one field. But, I mean, so far it's doing okay. Um, but no, I probably don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and draw a couple green cards so that okay. I actually can and maybe get some mine. I'm going to go here in the future. Okay. Uh, um, I'm broke. What? Um, my turn, right? It, it, yeah. it is, it is. Well, Again, it's just habit for wanting to go in clockwise. Sure. I want to make sure I get a shot at that, so there's there's that. Okay. Also send my messenger for yellow cards. Thanks for that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, All right. Now we're on to Edward. Yeah, I'm trying to plan ahead. Um, Usually a good idea. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'm good with that. I, I planned, so let's draw well. I will just draw my one green. And uh, that was not a terrible draw for, for those at home. Not a terrible draw at all. Marnie's okay. up in spring. I'm not You're about ready. to say something, Dave? No, I, I was okay. going to pass. I can spring. wait till it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Having no money thing is really making me sad. Um, I will. I'll pass. All right, Mari. And I get a victory Another point, victory so you know point. that's that's so, fine. Okay. She's winning. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to Dave and Spring. I'm passing. Get nothing. Well, and what like do you it. know? My merchant will draw me a card after all. Uh, let's see. Merchant will go to place a star. But which star? But which one? Let's see. Oh, actually, just kidding. Building a structure. You're okay. Sorry to make you do all that. No, but, uh, you're fine. No <laughs> so, four bucks for the cottage. And now the merchant power allows me to draw a card. Yep. So I'll take the yellow card. And I assume you're passing at this point? That's correct. All right, get another Lyra. Dave, you're up for summer. Uh, Which has to be there. Get yes. a Lyra. Oh. And play a yellow card. Okay. Remember Yo, oh, no, I'm, I'm aware, Morton. It's not going to happen until next turn, but good looking out. Yep. So this allows me to build structure for three less. The structure I'm going to build is my large cellar. Okay. Always nice to have a discount on that one. And so <laughs> that's three bucks. Uh, this pile. Oh, sorry. No worries. All right. So then green, you're going to do the same thing. Play two yellow. 
Yeah. Um, so first, the agriculturist. Uh, oh, shoot. I played myself with the messenger. Okay, plant a vine. Then if you have at least three different types of vine planted on the field, gain two points. I will not get that because I needed to have planted this card first. Mm. Whoops. Wah, wah. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> And the um, peddler? The peddler, discard two cards to draw one of each type of card. So I'll wow. discard the mentor Come on. and this order card. To draw one of each type, meaning you still get to draw two orange. Yes. All right. So I will there you go. think about that. Okay. So that is green. So that's green yellow turn. now. Uh, cannot plant what I just drew, unfortunately, because of... However, uh, I actually am not going to plant. I have something that would work for the Malvasia, but because of where things are here, suppose I could make wine then harvest, couldn't I, in theory? But going third, I don't like my chances of being able to do both of those. Um, okay, so I will instead take one of my workers and make two trades. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I will. Okay, so it is discard two cards. As one action to yes. to draw two cards, correct? Right. If I want. So I will discard that one and that one. Um, and I will draw... I already have a plan for that. I will draw that and that. And then for the second one... I will uh, let's see a moment um, I think we can get to that <laughs> that's really funny get it coming and going so I'm going to discard two cards to gain three bucks so I'm gonna get rid of the Mercado because it didn't work out for me and get three lira for my second trade and done. Uh, so there was a rule question. Okay. Uh, that the the card I played, the peddler, um, is it max four cards? Can I? Could you grab me the oh, sure. rule yeah, book yeah, real yeah. quick? No worries. Not sure which one it is. The we'll top give one. You the stack of or rule books. That's there what you go. Cool. All right. Yeah, I don't have any mods in here with us today, so I'm having to do it myself, guys. So I'm a little slower than they are. Yeah, so that sounds vaguely familiar that the Peddler is max four cards. Okay, um, all right, cool. But just with base, you wouldn't need to spell it out because you don't have the orange structure deck. Sure, fair enough. Um, so, Marnie, you're up. No. Oh, it's not right here, but I'll just discard the structure I wound up with. Okay, no harm, no foul. Easy sure, enough. Just leave them there. Cool. I really fine. wanted yeah, to get money cool. twice, but Thanks, you know, I cannot now. Oh, so. did I? Man, I feel horrible. That was so kind of you, I'm man. Over. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, um, I just needed the three for myself. So I still need money. I would like to build a structure at some point on. It would be really great if I could have the discount to do it. Planting would also be great. And getting another worker would also be great, but there's probably no hope of having enough money for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's do... What I feel there will be the most competition for with the messenger, and we'll okay, just hope I go. can get some money by then. I like a. I like how where you how you gamble. <laughs> I'm still planting my fields, so I'm okay. gonna go yeah. here. Plant a couple. Yes. I but, hear that's important to make wine. Yes. Maybe. And so we're gonna put a three there, which means I have room for one more. You do. Mm -hmm. And I keep forgetting, so this is where Vinos has messed with my head a little bit. Because mm -hmm. I'm looking at what Dave just planted. I'm like, no, you can't, can't plant, plant a red and a red white in the same field. <laughs> they can't I'm go like, together. Wait, no. That, you have to have two different spots. <laughs> okay, so... Right. So you're all planted. Mm -hmm. so Again, I'm trying to cheat me. and go ahead of 
Got to remember that right, turn. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you're you're keeping me straight. Here. Yeah. Uh, let's let's why not? Let's Grande for a yellow card. I'm gonna play the Importer. Draw three blue cards unless all opponents combine to give you three visitor cards total. So all we'll three do, of you can we'll do it in turn order. So start yeah. at the top. So Dave, do you want to give sure. a visitor card? We certainly will. We'll give you that one and there. What I don't does think he get if we don't do it. If you don't do it, I draw three blue cards. But I think if you guys don't have enough cards to total okay. up to three, I don't think I like. I wouldn't get just the one that you gave me. Okay. I would get either the three so blue it has or to be your a offer. Group effort to. We can go around the table. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this should be a group decision. Like, I'm not, I'm not, do I, people have crap I, that they want to load them up with? I have one card, and I'm keeping it. Sorry, guys. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, if it's good... Actually, it's I lied. I have another, but there's no chance us, in Snowball. You know? All right, so do you have... So, so Dave's offering one. Do you have two it, to offer? I would, do not have two to offer. So. Okay. You have one? I have one, but well, then we I'll have offer to a second one. Okay, all right. Okay. But I mean, mine's, mine's e not terrible. Either way, I'm getting three cards. Whereas he could pull okay. random ones that aren't as good, perhaps. Okay. I mean, we okay. can hope. <laughs> so I got, I got three winter? Yep. Okay. Cool. Hey, Kabuki. Welcome. Man. All right. All right. That's now it's yeah. back to <laughs> Now I will go ahead and draw a yellow. And here's what we drew. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. I've noticed I've gotten these kind of piggybacking type cards so far a lot in this game. You've only seen one of them. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you passed. So Marnie's turn in summer. Nice. I love the I love the username too. Eating tree branches says we're playing this later tonight. Awesome. I'm Good going stuff. to nice. go ahead and plant. And let's go for the Merlot. Okay. Tasty wine, my favorite. Oh, speaking of which, you need to put... Oh, yeah, new yep. token to show you have not yep. harvested it yet. Excellent. Hey, um, if anybody is uh, happens to have the Dave. Oregon game on in the background wants to give the occasional well, update, see, I'm okay with that. that. Just, just saying. You, you can. Miss, miss the start of it already? Yeah, that's all right. I'll miss no. the first half, but no worries. The things I do for our <laughs> fans. All right. So, so that was Marnie. So we're Dave in Dave summer. Is, uh, good grief. <laughs> okay. Good grief. I've only got so many workers. Yeah, but weird yep. how that happens in a worker yep. placement game. Yes. Uh, three, two, three. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Wow. What a brutal. I'm definitely losing the tokens game. That's good. I, it's I good for you. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Morton. Thanks, Morton. I'm going to go here. And I discarded the structure. Right. I drew from, I Discard drew a couple from the of grapes. Oh, the structure okay. Yeah. Cool. So I ended up Done. net drawing one of each of these cards. Michael? Uh, pass. Oregon Ducks. And I, I think that's Giovanni uh, being funny. It's me. <laughs> For American uh, egg ball? Okay. Hand egg? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hand egg, yes. <laughs> yes, I still think that's the best way to get money. Yeah, because I hear you need money. I'm going <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, that'll be a complete waste. So I'm Trip turning in cards. cards for free. All right, and back to Dave. Pass. Marnie? Pass. Blue card, man. Oh, oh, and I forgot to draw my yellow or blue card for my cottage when I passed. So I'll take a We'll blue card. allow it this time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I right, start Dave, Dave. Yep. I'm going to harvest two fields. You suck a lot, sir. <laughs> so it's a three and a three. What are and the chances? a five and, and a one. I would love Whoa. to harvest. It's funny how that all worked out. So that's a buck. Oh. And a red three and a right white one. I guess I'm making some wine. So I will make up to Trace Winos. So we will make a four red, we will make a three red, and we will make a something. Let me look. Um, uh, let's see. 
Yeah. All right, I'll make a two white. Leave the three to age. Done. What? Oh, the game just started, Todd. But yeah, uh, keep yep. me in the loop if you would, please. So I have to do this. Yay! Yep. And I will pay three, taking that as a discount to build my small cellar. Hey, welcome or to medium. the world of medium cellars. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Playing with the medium boys now. Yep. <laughs> oh. Uh, my turn? Yep. I'm going to make two wines. And I'm going to make it three white. <laughs> and then I'm going to make a blush. A blush. So uh -huh. a three and a one is a four. The minimum blush. The minimum. So I'm going third, huh? And I just don't trust you fools. So... Oh. Todd, you have my condolences. Oh... Uh, it's rough. <laughs> I, it doesn't show I'm not into football, but I do know that Cleveland's terrible. That's, yes, that's, <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Um, wow. So let me... Right, that's what I was going to do. We will go ahead and come down here. We will go ahead and build for three lira my irrigation. Uh, right there. Yep. The pointy there one. Go. Yep, <laughs> the rocket ship. All right, done. So, Marnie Info. By the way, I wasted a buck so far. I've never used that. Oh, never used the merchant power? I, I didn't think... I've got a couple of uses. I'm going to just it. harvest with my yoke, and I think I'm going to go for this. Okay. And not at all, reach. Kabuki Kid. I've heard people, some of the uh, higher-end custom chips are upwards of two and a half bucks a chip. Whoa. Uh, but they, they, again... It can be a very deep hole that you go down, a rabbit hole. Um, yeah. Like the poker chips that we use on the stream are super, super cheap, but I really would like some really nice high-end custom poker chips down the road, but it's down the road. So. All right. Sorry, where were we action-wise? Uh, so Dave, Dave just went, right? No. I, no? I, I need to go. Oh, no, I just... She just, I just, she just, just starts, Dave. Dave. So go. I'm passing. All right, you're passing. So into winter, Michael. Uh, I am also passing. And let's just go ahead and keep it going. And Marnie? I am also passing. At, and age I your grapes, ma'am. You do this. So, so, what I usually do is I move the sure, yeah, yeah. low one so, to the top. So, real quick, when, the train so when it says age grapes here, it's not wine. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay, so I misspoke earlier that those are the same. It's only the grapes, not the wine. Uh, Got right. it. Right. Yep. All right, Dave, you're up. I am going to pass. And I'm going to uh, do it in order this time because I. Okay. <laughs> so what's the first thing? Retrieve workers. Yes. Here you go, Dave. I got you. All okay. right. Next Second. is age your wine and That's your grapes. What I missed last time. Yeah. Uh, and then this is also the good time to reset your fields. And seven cards, which it doesn't look like you no. have. You have a residual payment of one, sir, and yes. then choose your order. Michael, go ahead. Okay, I'll play and a couple of blue cards. Oh, a buck twenty in Canadian. That's like fifteen cents, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's no, not I'm quite kidding. That I'll go so. fifth. <laughs> All right, fifth. Gotcha. So, first blue card is the motivator. Each sure. player may retrieve their grande worker. Gain yeah. one victory point for each opponent who does this. So I'll retrieve mine. Opponent. So Edward and Marnie, since Dave has already passed. Well, mine's not out there. So uh -huh. Marnie. Oh man. You, you want the grande? Your, yep. But I get a point. It gives him a point. I well, don't think you should. It's just it one would point. Would it benefit me enough? Is right. the question. Right. Exactly. So I have I a really knew he sweet was going to do it, I, I would have stayed. I have, <laughs> no, I couldn't have. I don't think I have I the have. money to make this work. Mm, that's the only thing I would really like to do. Although, I could. Are you out of all your regular workers? I, me? Yeah. Yes. So just one left. Yes. Um, so I just get to take it back. Yep. Yeah. And, and how many you, points do you? Just one. On? one. Just one. He is currently on set or two, as it were. It's just one point. You're no big deal. <laughs> um, I will take it back. Yes. All right. All right. I'll take so a point. One point for green. And then my second blue card is the designer. Build one structure at its regular cost. So I'll build the irrigation for three. 
But then, if you have at least six structures, gain two victory points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two oh, points. Oh, that counts as... This. Oh. Yep. It's a structure. Yeah. All right. Well, I will go ahead and take a Lyra, because I'm playing a blue card. Woo! All right. So my blue card says, upgrade your cellar uh, to the next level. Actually, I'll do this. Upgrade your seller um, to the next level at a $2 discount. Nope. Or age a wine and fill a, fill a request or a, fill an, an order. order. And I shall do so. So I'm going to age something. But I'm probably going to do this in the other order. So I need to do a three white. So I will actually spend... So actually, no. Because, yeah, I don't need to. So hold on. I will spend the four white first for that for the top one. Then I need to make uh, sparkling or champagne. So that's going to be a total of six, seven, eight. So when you make sparkling wine, you, you do it grapes. by combining grapes with the make no. wine action. Son you can't, of a... You don't yeah. get to mix your wine <laughs> after right. the fact, unfortunately. Yeah, you know what? I actually knew that and totally... That's unfortunate. You knew it until you didn't. Yep. <laughs> so was that right? Right there? Is that what it was? Yeah, um, and and this one was on the white four. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you probably want to do something else. All right. Hang on to that yep. part. That messed me up. So, uh, yep, totally spaced that. Boo on me. All right, so I don't have do money. This. I could sell a wine, but that'd be for a buck. It's not really worth it. I can't really fulfill an order, I don't think. Nope. Um, they don't have one good enough. Ouch. So, uh, really, am I going to waste my Grande Worker? Could, could put out a star, I guess. If only you knew I would give you a chance to use them again. You have to <laughs> be able to do the actual action. Right, which is sell a wine. Yeah. Okay, you so can. So, I'll yeah, sell right. that for one lira. Or one victory point. Sorry. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, it's a, okay. Yeah, I'm totally on board with that. So there. And then I get to place a star. And, you know, uh, that's my last worker. I was going to take a blue. Um, money's tight. Yeah, that's true. The metal coins don't stack, but right. I usually don't, usually don't end up with enough money to need stacks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's only at the end of the game when you're getting re residual payments. Though. Right. Yeah. You know what? Money stops me being... I will take a blue card, actually. Plan for the uh, future. Done. Chad is saying you got this bonus from something you shouldn't have now. All right. Easy enough. Got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. Yeah, he, that dude is a shark when it comes to anything we mess up. He's on it. So it's very much appreciated. So here's what we got there. All right. So Marnie's turn in winter. Yeah. Yes, and I Kinda just fun. realized I had okay. some season confusion when I decided to take my grande back. So uh -oh. just to clarify, I am not allowed to use a grande on my own yoke space, correct? Right, so the grande's special power only applies to the actions on the board, it's on the main board, not on upsetting. your player board. Uh. Uh, so I really wanted to harvest my other field, but gotcha. alas, right. that is in fall. So... I pretty much can't do anything because I have no money. So, so I am well, going to on. be the first person to visit the former sad cart. You can also go here. I, so. I would have to be able to sell a wine. And I yeah. have oh, no wine. wine. I have no wine. I have oh, my no goodness. wine. So I'm going right. to take a, a little measly coin over here. All right. Or so north. Shame. Back to green. So we like to call that action space the sad cart because on the base viticulture board, the art for that is just like a little cart that you visit. Just and terribly sad. Just, and <laughs> yeah. Pathetic. But at least yeah. you get That's orange. Funny. You could get orange cards here. That's, right. yeah, That's yeah. So that is a slight worst. improvement. An yep. orange card have would an help me with my money problem. Though, so. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go here for a buck and playing a blue card, which will be the. Is this Zymologist or Zymologist? Z-Y. I assume Zymologist. Go with it. Uh, make up to two wine of value four or greater, even if you have not upgraded your cellar. So red three becomes red three, and white two becomes white two. All right, cool. And back to Edward for winter. Uh, and we're done. 
since we're out of workers, and that was frustrating that wasn't able to do what I planned, but I had I actually stopped to look at it, I would have known that, so it's my own fault. So there's that. Then age everything, so everything just slides. Mm -hmm. All right, and then seven, I might actually be at too many. I have six, I have eight, so I have to discard one. I'll do that in a minute. Yep. I have no residuals, um, but Marnie, we will go ahead and do that. So cool. there's her re residual, so I don't forget. A marvelous statue. And I really like the idea of going. We'll go there. You know, I'm sitting here going, what's wrong with this picture? Um, it does seem you're lagging, sir. Uh, just goal, a bit. <laughs> the, the goal of the game is... Victory, Victory points. points. I think I should start addressing that. Okay, I gotta figure out what card I'm discarding. No. Okay. Okay. So I'm all set. I just need to wait for Marnie to choose my wake up spot. Oh right, this that thing that I should do. That thing. Oh man. Well, five was looking good, but it's already been taken. I could solve the money problem <laughs> by going to two. And then you'd be able to give a tour for yeah, three more Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. My money problem is pretty intense. Or instead of the tour, even placing two stars to get a total of four bucks. Um, Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I like to be helpful. You oh, I need to helpful. reset my field that I harvested. Yes, you need to reset your fields. Thank you. And I field, because oh, one of them went unharvested. <laughs> All right, um, so sad. So then I'll go for four... That's a nice set of cards. Okay. All right. So All right, here we Marnie go. got and Dave, you got your residual one. Yes. Okay. He passed done. a while ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been just <laughs> waiting for you guys. Right. Right. Um, I'm going to take Michael's excellent advice. I should stop giving excellent advice to Michael. You should right. stop <laughs> giving excellent advice. Yeah, but I will place right. well, both here for four, four. cheese. Four. Okay. Hallelujah. Cool. Did I? Oh, no, I don't get until I pass. All right. right, green? Green, green. Wait, I had something for this, I think. Um, actually, I'm going to send my messenger to harvest. Just uh, lock that down. one or the uh, two? Let's go for the coin. Okay. Since I've only got one active field so far. All right, and Dave, it's time for me to build my yoke. All right, cool. So, for a buck, for one lira? Yep. Cool, that kind of worked out. I'll take a tour for three, thanks. All right, money's up. I am up, and that was taking rats. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> Weren't you just thinking of passing, like, at the... Yes. So, Isn't that what you said? Oh, okay. I'm going to do this to okay. ensure that I can build, build, build with the discount. Later. And green? And green. That's that's a me. I wish I could Let's have see. two of those. That <laughs> is <one. laughs> okay. Messenger is my favorite. I'm going to use my special cask structure to draw a purple card and age a single wine twice. So I'll age up this white three to a white five. Done. All right. Wait, going in the future. <laughs> this actually, if people are taking actions that you don't want, then uh, this actually works because now I'm first. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah you know, that. you'll know you have the first new choice, <laughs> right? Involved. Which is awesome. So I get to make wine. Yay! <laughs> All right, awesome. Relieve cool. some anxiety, right? No yeah, advance. that's kind of yeah. nice. Okay. Um, I got all these workers for a lot of actions later, so um, let's just uh, let's go and get my seasonal worker as well. Done. All right. Marnie's up. Let's see. I think that I will. That will not happen again, FYI. Which like will champagne yeah. stuff? Oh well, yeah, the I'm sparkling be wine. Making sparkling wine. Weird, and yeah. I will place another influence. No, uh, I, I think don't see what's weird. It's no. for more money. Yes. Wow, asserting yeah. dominance in Pisa. Right. <laughs> it's so. only worth one victory point, right? Yep. Uh, the yeah. two is next yes. to it in yeah. another in yeah. another region. 
Yeah. Looking all enticing. There we go. So I'm just trying to. There we go. Yeah. That's all in pieces. I wonder if it'll help if you stand them up like this, but. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll all right. So next, green. Next, green. That's me. I would love to start doing the fill order thing. So if I do that in the future, do that and that and that. So I've got one, possibly one option left. But I was just going to use that to place influence. So I'll go ahead and pass for now. And take a purple. Dave. I'm passing also. I'm taking the blue. Marnie. I'll pass. All right, get your one Lyra. And Marnie, yeah. you're up. I'm up. Springtime for Marnie. I'm Hold on, if I do this... Doesn't really sound like a duck. No, that, 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 <laughs> that's a less than pleased duck. And gave up for score. All right. Summer. That She's time. scheming. Scheming ahead. No, oh, no, that'll be fine. I will pass. <laughs> that anticlimactic a little bit. All right, <laughs> green. Well, I, I needed to know that all I right. actually wanted to let's use all my workers in the future. Plant this Merlot, and it's not great, but might as well lay that down there. So what card you have is Wait, open information, correct? You can't do that. I can't do that. I can do this. <laughs> there we go. Right, cool, right? So What's up? Like what yeah, variety this, of cards? Yeah, this is open okay. information. So what, what fields? Nobody has fields anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dave's turn. you have some sort of card that would help you. Uh, David is going to yes. pass and take a blue card. Tap. Pass for a blue. All right. Well, that has completely backfired. Um, oh. Are you suggesting you wanted to plant two, or you had something that cared about fine cards and other I forget. Yeah, I, okay. I forget. Uh... <laughs> Um, oh, that might work. All right, so I will go ahead and use my temp worker for two trades. So I'm going to get rid of a wine for three. So no, that's the wine great, is not one oh, of the I'm tradable. Sorry. Oh, it's a great. Options. Yeah. Oh, that's even better, actually. I, oh, I welcome that. So cool. Well, that's right? good. Good. <laughs> and I will take that for three. Uh, actually, it might only do this once. Because um, I don't think I want to get rid of. I could get rid of that. And I will get rid of that actually for another three. Do hold on, do I need the three though? Or do I get the point? I'll actually take take it for the point there. So I will discard that and I will discard that. And that was the card. All players can play in a field. I gain two lira for everybody who chooses to do so. Mm. Mm. It'd be kind of wasted. All right, I'm done. Yes. So, sir. Okay, maybe trades. Trades look fun. And I'll still have enough to do those things. Yeah. So I'll trade these two cards uh, for a blue and a yellow. And I will go ahead and plant one field, and that will be the Sauvignon Blanc, which is now a four, because I do have the irrigation done. All right, I'll pass. So I'll take a yellow, and then with the cottage, I'll take a blue. Okay. So now, because now I get to draw a card if I want. So I could take the that. I'll actually take the yellow card. So that draw is after your action. It has case. to be? Uh, yeah, I think so. No, no, no. Um, I'm saying that I get... Oh, I can play a second card. That's playing a second right. one. Yeah. Never mind. So you're yeah. right. No, I got them confused. Okay. So I'll take the Lyra. So I will only play one card. The one card that I will play 
is the wedding party. Pay up to three opponents, two lira each, gain a point for every one of those opponents. So, okay, you get a couple bucks. You get a couple Sweet. bucks. And you get a couple of bucks, and I'll take my three points. It's nice of you to not play any favorites with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's that, and then I will go ahead and actually draw a blue card for being last to pass. Finally, I get to use the thing that I got there. Yep. And we will go ahead and show you all what we got here. Yo. Nice. Cool. And that's no, okay. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Couldn't read all right. it, but I looked. And now I will pass, and I get to draw another card. So I will go ahead and draw another blue. And here. Cool. That'll work. Good. All right. Done. Hmm. All right. So, um, well, here we go. Marnie. Oh, I will. Build. Okay, five, so I'm taking my bonus as a discount, okay. and I need my large seller. Okay, and Michael? Then I harvest, and I should have planned better and used taking the other bonus, but I'll take a buck and harvest this field okay. for a three and red and a two white. Which Dave one white. is drawing two purple. And uh, harvest, you say. Don't mind if I do. So I'll go ahead and harvest a couple fields, so that'll be a four. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope, not harvesting. Almost screwed up. <laughs> I will make up to two wines. So this is how this works. To be able to make a sparkling. No, you make three wines. You gotta have you grapes. Have to to have make grapes wine. To make you wine. have to have grapes. You okay. already made wine. Oh, I'm a worker short again. Alright. <laughs> you can harvest too. So yeah, but um it still doesn't work out. So that'll be a two red a two white, and now I'm still not going to be able to. Boy, that's frustrating. Done. All right, so back up to Marnie. Yeah. Okay. So I have to decide whether I want to wait to make wines or use my grande to harvest. I think, let's see, I can make up to three. <sighs> yeah, I'll go ahead and at least I'm gonna be able to go first. Mix now. some wine, okay. so I will make a level five and a level six weight. Then let's go ahead and do a level six red for my third one. I'm also oh. going to make wine. Hold, hold the oh, phone. No, hold I'm on. not. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you send your grande. Um, so yep, I'm gonna I am Marcus. Red three and white two. Mm -hmm. Actually, better yet, white one. Now it's not so much a lack of planning on my part, Morton. It's just a comprehension right, now it's, now it's issue good. that I'm having as far as when I make the one, how it Honey. works. Which it's it's obvious. You make these here. It shows. Circles. I mean, it's not an iconography. It's an Edward thing. It's totally <laughs> just you have to have this to make that. And so it's not a planning. It's just comprehension. So that's on me. All right. So I've made wine possibly thwarting Dave a little bit. Yes, you have. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to build a structure. And the structure I'm going to build is the cottage. For four. Okay. That brings me back to Edward. Yeah, that completely kind of thwarts my plan here. Um, that was doing one short on that. That was really something I didn't need to do. <laughs> Plant better, harvest better. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yes, exactly. Uh, <coughs> Okay, you know what? Um, it's my turn. I'll go ahead and just eat my grapes. Purple. Enjoy the grapes. Marnie's up. I'm up. I will be passing. All right. Nothing cool happens. And actually, me. these these bots that have been going on, um, I noticed them over on uh, the Dice Tower stream as well the other really? day. Yeah, so they're dealing with the same thing. I'm also passing. And I get to place one, right? Uh, star, yes, sir. 
Yep, and obviously, Dustin, that's exactly what it is. I'm thinking about making beer. All the ale from last night's game, which I did a really <laughs> poor job of, too. I'd like to get a point. One point? Is there well, the no, point's yeah, not the immediate nope. bonus. It's so just is there any it's, with an immediate bonus of a point? No, yeah. it's cash or cards. So what card? or It's two or one cash or you know your what? choice I'll of card. I'll go here and get a blue card. Okay, done. All right, All right, so Marnie, you're up. I will play a blue card. Get my own bonus here. So the card I will be playing is the Scholar. Draw two purple cards or pay three to train a worker. You may lose a victory point to do both. So I think I will go ahead and lose the victory point. Okay. Um, and I think I am just going to go for the standard worker and not too impressed by the merchant. So. Okay. I'm going to do oh. that, and then I draw my two purples. You're welcome, by the way, because being able to do so, well, you know, I, I help pay for that, so you're welcome. Yes, right. I did, but you cool. know, still got some right. leftovers. All right, so is that me? Yep. Yes. Oh, I just don't want to do that. Did I okay. get it happens. too far? No big deal. Usually we have mods, um, but it's Saturday, so not always on so Saturdays. Warm. Got all these blue cards, but none of them are terribly exciting for me anymore. Man. Well, I could harvest and make some wine. Let's see, I just have a two white grape. I need more reds. I need more reds. All right. Thanks for the update, Paul. Oh wait, right. I do have enough to actually fill an order, so. Huh. All right, so, so you bonus get of a victory point. A victory point for green, okay. And then this is a red three, which I've got a red three, and a white five, which is just what I've got to fill that order. So that bumps me up one here, and I get four points there, so four, up to ten. So up to ten, well done. Woohoo! All right, Dave. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to have to ditch two of these things. Yep. Start planning now. Yep. You suck so bad, sir. <laughs> okay. Probably those two. I'm going to play the governor. Okay. I get to choose three opponents to each give me one yellow. Card. So everybody's going to contribute. If you can't contribute, has none. I get one point. If you can't or if, if you, you choose you, not to. Uh, for each it, who cannot, so they must give you one. Yeah. A yellow. Okay. So a yellow oh and you get so you get a point for Edward? Yes. Or, yeah, he got one. I gave him one. Oh, and yep. Marnie. So okay, and Marnie doesn't have any either, so that there And then do I get to choose or do you get to choose? No, it's it's up to you. Yeah, so I can still you, if you, you give. give me one, okay. yes. I get so I, can, a, I get one. Yes. If if you I don't give refuse. me one, I get a point. Okay, you can have the point because I want. Oh, that's well. Perfect. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Or Choose do I to, hold on? Gain for each who cannot. Cannot. Can, yeah. Meaning, can. I think you have to give one. All right. I'm afraid you're right. I think so. No, it too. doesn't clarify there, but I mean, it it says. Uh, uh, I was gonna have a nice little each combo. Give with you these. one, and he gains a point for everyone that cannot get one. Yeah. These were going to so. be a nice little combo. Well, it's too bad. Alas. Here you go, Dave. Here you go. Okay, so I will... I've got another card to play. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Them bonuses. And I think I know which one I'm going to play. It's this one here. Innkeeper. The innkeeper, which allows me to take two discards. This Is it... What does it say? Like, is it from As the top of the this discard? Card, or? Put the top card of two different discards into your hand. Okay, so it has to be the top card. Right. So, so you were he, digging through this. Well, no, 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 he took the top one, then he took the top one. Oh, right. Well, doesn't it say... I thought it's you said it said two different piles. Put the top card of two different discards. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Reading comprehension. Yeah. Mm. So Kind of like me on my back. board. <laughs> So how are you holding up about two-thirds of the way through the advent? So far, so good. 
Good. Not bad. So um, does this cost five dollars to play? Uh, yeah, the yeah. top left is the cost to play it. So that I did that. Great. I think that's the one I'll take too. Any big games other than the eighteen eighty nine next week? Uh, it's it might be eighteen fifty seven. We're still mm. deciding before tomorrow. But yeah, actually next week's going to be a whole lot of meteor games. Um, the highlight for me, I think, is going to be uh, is going to be Keeper and nice. and Christmas Tree on the twenty fourth because that means it's over. Yeah. Um, all right. So all right. So Grande Worker. I'm going to play a blue card. So I will go ahead and just play the craftsman here so i get to draw draw a green or a purple um or gain a victory point victory points are important but i feel like being able to get a third one of those is going to be better so done okay done all right back to marnie for winter all right pass uh, all right, so retrieve your workers, and when you say by the ducks, meaning we pick them off, or they picked us off, Dave? Oregon dodged a bullet. Oh, nice. Like, all right. Good. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, age, age. grape, and one. You don't have seven. I start Ooh. this process, too. Residual, nothing, but you will here, and you'll get your victory point for that. Yay. Okay. And for my place in the world. Age your stuff. I Dave. believe... I'm going to come here and fill an order. And this is the order I'm filling. So it's for white, for white, for red, and no, for blush. Oh, you're right, for blush. And I'm using a five blush. Oh, wait. Okay. No. So one residual for Dave. Yes. It's more there. important to go and for closer to the top. Points. And four points. One, two, three, and four. Done. I got I'm passing. So yeah. there. Two, three, four, five workers. He comes home. Age everything. There, there. Dave still has another worker left for winter. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's aged. Down to seven. I don't have that problem anymore. And no residuals. And now choose. Huh. Hey, Tony. Okay, so I'm going to take my last worker and go here for a buck. And the one I'm going to play is this. It allows me to discard two visitor cards to gain two, two victory points, which is what we'll do. Oh, and don't forget to refresh your fields. Yeah. If you harvest. Like, right. somebody forgot. <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, give me a minute. Let's so, see. Dave, do you get to start doing the end of okay. your stuff now? So, the... Uh, grab your guys. Grab your dudes. What's the second thing? Age, grapes, and wine. I'll go fifth. Level up? There. And then okay. Next cool. is discard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Collect residuals, two coins, and choose. Would you like to go three, six, or seven? I like that one. Ooh, that's open. It gives me an extra worker, which is going to be good. It also allows me to draw cards. Weren't you in the seventh spot? Was nobody on there? Nobody was on the show yeah. spot last year. Oh, wait a minute. No, I was. So you had oh, to I go was. to the Sorry first about spot. That. Carry on. And that Sorry. just changes everything. All right. Because uh, I'll, I'll take the residual. I'll take the worker. Seven. All right. Seven. Correct, Marcus. All right. Here we go. All Lead right. Lead us the way through spring. So. <laughs> I'm broke. I don't think... Getting money is really a big, big deal for me right now. Um, okay. Am I really thinking about doing that? I really am, aren't I? 
Uh, I think we're approaching the part of the game where the scoring will Just be like about to take off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got uh, caught up before that happened. Okay, <laughs> because I'm worried because you guys have the advanced stuff uh, faster than I do, I will actually go ahead, go there, pay one, and I'm going to build my yoke. That way it opens up for one. More harvesting. Yep, so I can harvest. For me, I will be playing my messenger on fill in order. Okay. I'm going to send my messenger to harvest. This time, harvesting two fields. And being last time I didn't have the makeup to two wine tokens, I'm going there. <laughs> so we all played the future. Back to bed. All right, I'm done. All right. Uh, for me, I will build a structure. We don't need the discount, thank goodness. Um, I will be building the Charmat or the Charmat. Sure. You may Charmant. make sparkling wine with one red grape and one white grape. So a red grape discount for you making sparkling? Yes. So that's very exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this guy as a star man, placing two stars. Okay. Um, let's do one yellow in Liver Livorno, is that it? Livorno, Italy, yep. Okay. And... Other star could take the lead there, which could be worth two points. I'll go for it. Okay, another yellow? Another yellow. Okay. I've had the thought uh, of like a separate... White, yes. Dave. Of a, like a separate score track where you track right. where the points are going yeah. for each region as you go. I wonder if that would be too fiddly or if it would just be nice to know. From my yoke. Yoke it up. So back to Marnie for spring. I will pass. And you get a buck. Money! Yay! Okay. Um, let me think. I do want to build that. And the building is all full. Ooh. Feels like a big gamble to use my grande this soon. So I will just. Pass. Draw a purple card. Dave? I am going to pass. Alright, so... So... <laughs> Looks like I could draw, but nope. Done. Purple. Marnie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Marnie built a structure card, so she scores a point. Oh. For the card. Yes, yes. Good I call, do. Graham. Yeah. All right. Graham. All right, Marnie, you're up. Um, I will pass. Pass? Mm -hmm. No cottage? Okay. Summer. Just picked up some yellow cards. Yes. Yeah. So maybe they're worthwhile. Um, I'm going to use my cask to draw a purple card, and I will age a wine twice. So this five becomes a seven. Which leads to Dave's turn in summer. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have passed. <laughs> um, I passed. Okay, get a card. It's all you, Michael. Okay. Oh, and Dave also gets a card for his cottage. All right. So I'm going to use my merchant to play two yellow cards. Okay. Uh, surveyor, gain two lira for each empty field you own, or gain a victory point for each planted field you own. So two planted fields, two, two points. points. for green. Okay. Yep. Then the second card will be the wine critic. Draw two blue cards or discard one wine of value seven or more to gain four victory points. One, two, three, and four. All right. That's Hashtag bad teacher. Okay. All right. And, and then the merchant bonus is drawing a card. And so, so you're done? It. And now I'm done. All right. Get a yellow. Yellow, and the cottage gets me a blue. Okay, done. So we go here. So yellow is up first, so I could harvest. I've got, I've got a regular and a grande. Do you have? I've 
got just so many purple cards. Four? Three. Four. <laughs> I'm starting to become concerned that Michael might be able to end the game this round. Right. Well, if With he all does, this, he does. You need yeah. wine to wow. fill orders. And <laughs> uh, well, you know, you can make it. <laughs> I don't have any yet. But <laughs> all right. So I actually will go ahead. I will make a, up to two wine here. So, ooh, decision time, actually. Um, well, hold on. Sweet. I lied. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to draw two purple. Done. And then Marnie... Okay, um, I'll go ahead and harvest. Wait a minute. And here's mm -hmm. what we draw. Those are messengers. Those are messengers oh, okay. that haven't acted yet. There we go. Okay, because yeah. it hasn't been your turn yet. I understand. Yep. I get one point, and I'm going to harvest my field of pinos. Careful how you say that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then green. Green, I'll harvest both fields. Yep. A message from the past. You should harvest. Wow. Thanks, messenger. <laughs> and Dave's messenger has a message about making wine or Street something. Right. I hear that's important in this game. Yeah, I heard, I've heard the same. Uh, so we're making... So here, while he's doing that, I'm going to go here and I'm going to harvest one field, which is going to be a two and a two, and I'm done. A six Marty spread. fall? Yep. Oh no. Just realized I needed to make three wines instead of two. <laughs> okay. Always need to do a little bit more than you can. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, well, I am doing Actually, this right. for sure. So, the question is so I'm going to make a sparkling and a level eight sparkling from. Or no, I'll just make a level 7 sparkling for those two. Get rid of that little guy. And then, let's see. So this is more valuable. So you've made, made one so far? And my second one will be this. Hold on. Make sure I, I know what I'm doing here. So that looks fine. I will make this level 5 white. Will be my second one. Cool. So all done now. I am all done. Hey, that okay, makes it, it my turn. There we go. Whew. Which I would love to build a structure, but I need to do more things. I would need one more worker to do that. So instead, I'll pass and draw another structure that I'll probably never build, or two pick one. Okay. And Dave's turn in fall. God, that is just so bizarre. These piles are getting out of control. <laughs> it's a little better. I'm just glad you guys have all used your advanced workers, so I'll be able to play there. Well. <laughs> all right. I'm going to... Good grief. Oh, you got a lot of workers Oh, left. I can build. Duh. <laughs> What am I thinking? Okay, build, build a, a structure. Go. Which is the tavern. So, I'm going to make up to two wines there. So, which cost five. Four. I'm going to make two and then blush. Dave, you get a victory point. What's that? You get a victory point for your, your structure oh, card. Thank you. So, I will make a three and a three becomes a six blush. There. And then I will make a 5 and a 2, which becomes a 7 blush. That is a loaded seller. Wow. Be a feared. Be very <laughs> feared. Okay, done. Marnie. Um, where are we? Where are We're we? in fall. We're in fall. I would like to pass out of fall now. Dave, fall. I'm passing. And you get your magical grapes. So in base viticulture, there is this grapes token that is the first player marker, and we Card could use that, but I don't feel like you need to to remember okay. it to go from seven to one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Fall. 
Winter. All right. <laughs> Way too. All right. So here we go. So, Master Vintner, I can age a wine and fill a order. So I will age my seven to an eight blush. And fulfill that, which is going to be four victory points for yellow. One, two, three, four. And a residual, if it matters. We'll see. So there <laughs> goes that one. Then I can fulfill that one, which Wait, is... Like, sorry? Will you fill two oh, ones? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, Hold on. No. Okay. I have to do that, which allows me oh. to fill a card, which then that's done. And there. Oh, so okay. it'll be one more residual and three more points. Done. And that goes there. Okay. All right. Uh, so Marnie in winter. In winter. Um, I, uh, I'll just start with this one. So first I get a bonus point. Okay, and done. I will fill this order uh, with a level 7 and a level 6 weight. Okay. Which gives me five, five. victory points and oh. two residual payment. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, and then I would love to go play a blue card. Hmm. So I get a buck. Hmm. That's why you have Grande workers, right? The bottler. Make up to three wine, gain a victory point for each type of wine you make. So this red two, red three, white three adds up to a sparkling eight. And then white two will become just a white one. And two points. Two points for the bottler. Done. All right, Dave. Well, I can't believe that I screwed up so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's true, Graham. The grape token is the first player to choose the turn order. Right, yeah. In the in the base game. So I'm And then gonna... it just goes around the table instead of choosing as you pass. Okay, go here for that. By Grande, and oops, this should have been discarded. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, age all my wines twice. Nice. One, two. Whew. One, two. One, two. Done? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm passing because I don't have anything else to do. So there, there, there. And then Marnie, winter there, action. And. Yeah. And go here. So I'll and age everything. So this, I will be selling my sparkling wine for four victory points. I don't have seven, only I only have three. Myself. Residual, two bucks. Four. And I get to place an influence. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's worth two? Yeah. Is there anybody on this one? What? Uh, yeah, these right here. Yeah, are those there. ones are there. Okay, yeah. so I have no hope of that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke is a free point. Okay, so and that one um, so while she's thinking about that, I could. Sure. I will go ahead and go oh. here. There's still okay. competition, Purple. but you never know. Okay. So I've got this order for a two white and an eight sparkling, which is just what I've got. For six points and two residuals. That's a bummer. So that'll bring you up to 24. <laughs> Not quite enough to end the game this round. Oh, all right. Okay. And then Dave's up. Chance to live another day. Yeah. We will see one more year. That was really dumb. <clears throat> okay. Should have gone here first, then mm. your, your grande. Mm. Yep. Because you still got three dudes. No, I should be okay. All right, go. So I'm going to go with this one here. You know what? And go there. back here. So I can play a couple of blue cards. Okay. So yeah, we're on the penultimate turn. Harvest one field. And I get to either draw or pay to build them. I draw. Okay. So the field I'm harvesting is this one here. So that's a five and a one. And I get that card and... Oh. 
And then the second one I'm going to play is this. Fill one order and gain one extra point. See, the order I will fill is this one here, which is a... Eight red. So four, one, two, three, four, and a residual. Mm -hmm. And what else? You gain another point from the blue card. So right. There, done. All right, next. Purple. Marnie? Purple. Um, I will be filling yet another order with my grande. All right. It's not a super yeah. exciting one. I have a level 7 red and a level 5 white, so I have overspent. I get three points and one residual. Done. Okay. Awesome. Green? I'm passing, and here are my discards before I get to that step. Thank you. Yep. And age your stuff. Age the stuff. And you get three lira. Three bucks. Choose. Um, let's go to spot two. Okay. And I'm going to go here and get a. I get two of these Correct. and then throw one away. Yep. And then, Marnie. Back to me. Uh, I will be passing now. Okay. So my peeps. There. And there's your point. Okay. Excellent. Age your stuff. You don't have seven cards. I do not. Here's your three lira. And choose your position, man. I'd like to go to six. Okay. That victory point could make the you difference. You could. very much good. <laughs> so, Dave, I'm going to go here. So, your last action. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, next year will be the last year. Yeah, I, uh, it's going to be, yeah. I'm going early enough in turn order that that's a guarantee. <laughs> I will go here for a dollar. And then passing? And then pass. All right, get your workers. Got my workers. Age and discard. Okay, so. And here's your three bucks. Thank you. Done? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. You're up for summer, last round, guys. Dave is up for the spring. Springtime mm -hmm. for Dave. Who is not a spring chicken anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Build a structure. All right. Minus one. All right. So t Michael? Two, three, four. Building a structure. Is that three bucks? Um, and I hit 25. All right, so that triggers the end. This will be the end of the final, round. Final year. And I will go ahead, place, and move. So I will place one here for one. And then I will move. Let Marty control Pisa. <laughs> so, and that'll be a... That'll be two bucks. Done. So you only get oh, the, you only get one, right? Only get one. The moving bonus. doesn't count, right? Yep. There you go. Cool. All right, Marnie. Oh, no, I'm still thinking. Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure I, I would like that. to place influence here. You take control of a red. So okay. I was hoping to do it that. twice, but yeah. And Dave. Gonna go here. Messenger to fill an order. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will send my messenger to harvest both of my fields. And I'll pass and get an order. And this is what we drew. And Marnie's up. Okay. I will pass. Okay. Marnie uh, gets a point. Yes, I do. Okay. And Dave? I'm going to... Oh, I've got a field. Ah, that one, huh? Ah, yeah. Um, 
I'm going to pass. Oh, Marnie, did you get a purple card for placing a star? Did you just put a new star in? She did. Oh, oh. Right. no, no, I want to. I totally right. forgot that right. I got something else other than influence. Thanks again, Real Christopher. Yep. I pass. I'm telling you, he's, he is on One, the ball, man. Two. So Dave is passing. Uh, well, I'm, I'm uh -oh. counting. I needed to make one more red, so Three. I'm out of it. Yeah. No, no I'm yeah, I'm passing. Green? Pass. Four buck. All right, Dave, you're up for summer. That's what I want to do. Go here. Trades. Yep. Michael. And I'm going to trade these two in. For two more. So the auctioneer lets me discard two cards for four bucks or four cards for three victory points. So I'm taking the three victory points. Well done. And for me. I will make it. You get two trades, Dave. Okay. Um, I'm going to trade these two in for these two. Yeah. That's what we drew. Graham's telling you you messed up in year one with your Pinos. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I can trade in a wine for a so is it Marnie's turn in summer? No, he's, he's, still he's still thinking about I can, second I can trade. trade a grape okay. or whatever. Right. right. That's what I'll do. Trade in this All right, then Marnie, go ahead. Um, I'm going to put my messenger over here. Oh, okay. so really Dave, you're up. That. God, these guys suck. Um, pass. And I will also pass. And Cottage gets me a blue card. And... Do I get a two shell pass? Oh, yeah, you have the cottage also. Um, I'm going to harvest my field, which I never refilled. Sorry about that. That's no, okay. No, it hasn't already been harvested. Well, that would have been nice <laughs> previously, but that ship has sailed. Retrieve of the two workers. Oh, man. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, so Marnie? Marnie and Summer. Realize of the two structures, I built the wrong one. So if I do yeah. that, <laughs> yep. then it's okay. I, I probably shouldn't be complaining about that right now. That. Hashtag terrible teacher. Right. <laughs> I just underestimated how important the cards were, I think. You have oh, used no. them very, very well. Yeah. I can that's, that's pretty key. Much. Hold on, how many? How much money do I have? Yeah, I usually try to get to six workers and the cottage as soon as possible because the cottage just will keep you Churns, doing. churns, cards, yeah. Yellow and blue, makes sense. So I am one short on money to buy back my field, which will give <laughs> me a victory point. So I'm going to pass. Okay. All right, and Dave, you have a blue you know, card. We start here. Blue yep. card, Marnie. Oh, cool. Please be something good. <laughs> I need to make wine tokens. And I've got to look at my hand to decide which ones I want to make. So it's pretty freaking simple. All right, green, go ahead and harvest two fields. Make an eight. It's a red three, a red two, and a white and two. Six. Does that just bury my plan? It does. Womp womp. So I'll harvest, get a lira. And that's going to be a two and a two. Done. Uh, Marnie. And Marnie has me. her messenger on yes. making up the three wine tokens. Yep. So I will be making the three red, the two white, and the seven red. Yep. And that's me. So you harvested, so over to Dave. Alright, the I'm big one. I'm going to I pass. Oh. Last time. Dave's passing. Oh, hey, we got a new patron. I don't have my phone in here, so I can't say who it is, but yay. That's why that's blinking behind you. Awesome. Cool. All right, I'm going to make wine. 
and I miscalculated. I needed three, or I needed two red threes for my plan, but it becomes a red three and red two. So, new plan. This is becoming a sparkling seven. All right. All my grapes. He's gonna try to sell it. Block him. All right. So cannot be blocked. Oh. And <laughs> for me. Pretty sure, me. but there's two action spaces open. So uh, that's true. I will not be denied. <laughs> Freeze up that person to do. Nope, totally butchered it. So throw my two orange. Call it good. Done. Morning's up. All right, and I will be passing, please. And you get to age some grapes. Oh, that's so exciting at this um, age. <laughs> yeah, because of my well, plan misfiring, nice. I'll use my merchant to draw two purples. Mm. Okay. And then... Oh, man. And then her merchant ways will draw me a blue card, I guess. Okay. And yeah. then I'll pass. All right. Final okay. actions here. Dave, Dave, go. Well, I have no choice. Right. So there's one point for Dave. And fill in order. And it'll be the six and the six. So six, five, and put you six. at 20 and two residual, done. Got the residuals. And green. And then I'm just gonna sell my sparkling for four points. Four. And then the bonus is a star, which will go here. Yep. And Luca for a point, hopefully. Doesn't matter. All right. Fill in order, which it's unspectacular, but that's okay. Um, so I can fill any of those. And I can fill, let's say, so I guess I will go a six white with a seven for three points and a residual. Done. And Marnie, winter okay. is here. I think that I will. Hmm. How many blue cards does everyone have? Zero. I have no workers left, but I have two blue cards. Dave, Dave. how many blue cards do you have? One. Just one. Okay. Then there's no point in blocking people. I'll take money just in case. Um, I'm playing the promoter. Up here. Discard. Oh, sorry. Discard a grape or a wine to gain a victory point and a residual payment. So I will discard this grape for the victory and point. And yeah, that goes to four. Okay. All right, Dave. And Dave. And if you play a blue card, you've got to do what it says, right? Yep. Gots to do all the things it says. This is Marnie's first stream. Yep, it is, Tony. <laughs> well, that would be worth two Why I keep putting points. my cards in the wrong spot? No, that's <laughs> you're totally fine. That would be worth two victory points. And plus three would be five. So, that's what we'll do. We'll go over here. Play a blue card, discard a wine for two points, and then activate this by discarding two grapes for another three. <gasps> no! Congrats, you win. No! See, it says it you says win. win right no, there. No, no. <laughs> All right, so for my last action. Oh, I'm sorry. passing, so okay. if you wanted that spot, it's over. No. <laughs> um, hmm. Actually, hold on. Let me check. B3 to be able to move one. That's a point. And would I be able to take a majority anywhere? I don't think so. Nope. So I will go ahead and go there. I will get rid of those two wines. So that's going to be three points and a residual for yellow. Hashtag good stream runner. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm done. So, Marnie? Marnie? Mm, I will also fill with my grande. Let's All do right. this one first. Is yep, perfect. Right? Okay. There you go. Uh, and then get rid of my 
level seven red for two points and one residual payment. Done. If you tie in there, does it matter? Uh, if there's a tie, no points are awarded. Okay. And you're up, Dave. Arg. It's just your knee. It's no big deal. So oh, no, I'm going to oh, go good. here. Even I'll sell voluntary. this wine here, so that gives me a point. Point, and then a star. And the star. Hmm. You can, Graham says you can stop someone else getting a majority, so that yeah. is Probably. kind of like scoring. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep. Okay. All right. Rob from the rich. All right. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, so I'm passing. Yeah. So. I don't think Michael can be stopped. Age, I don't think it matters. Tiebreakers, but probably won't matter. Okay, and uh, my residual. Yeah, I finally got a five here. <laughs> All game. All right, done. And I'm also passing. But I don't think it makes any difference. Okay, Marnie, and last it action. It does make a difference. Well, a with the, with the coins, it could be a tiebreaker. And with your workers are blocking a space ah, that someone true. else oh. may want to take. Yes, that's <laughs> Perhaps more relevant. Particularly <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. All righty. So I would like to fill the order on this fabulous bonus spot. So get the bonus. And this one is what I will be playing. I have a two red and a Yeah, we actually have five women in our... Out of like the, um, the, so that the gets 15 me or 18 in our... Oh, about 18 in our group. One, two... Well done. And I can't out. go any higher on residuals. All right, cool. so Ugh. That's me. Rough. You're killing me, Dustin. All right, cool. So that's it. Um, so, Marnie, you can get your residuals for type Oh, breakers. I should oh, get my residuals. So I get my residual points, so, so get unless you already moved me. I did not. Okay. There you go. And Marnie Correct. also gets five. So All right, so now we go into final scoring. Just one region at a time. I feel so extremely So healthy. here, nothing. And then Michael's going to get two for Laverno. Then I will get one for Grassetto. Then I will get two for Sienna. Just making it look good because that, <laughs> that's all she wrote there. Uh, let's see. Marnie is going to get one for Pisa. Uh, let's see, Dave's going to get two for Forense, and Marnie will get two for Arezzo. So she made a valiant effort, Almost but alas. So close. <laughs> Hashtag bad teacher, 34 points. Marnie, welcome to the streams, 32. Dave, 28. And hey, I won. It You're says all right there. It says I won. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about. So <laughs> I just ran out of wine a couple of times. I just I wasn't <laughs> producing enough red, I learned. So mm -hmm. so all right, Marnie. So it's what obviously is? not your first game of of viticulture, but first time on the stream. So what do you think of the game and being on the streams? I like it. I mean, this is one of my favorite games. I think it's one of the few strategy games that I was the one who decided we needed it. Okay. Rather than <laughs> so yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. All right. So anything in particular about it? Um, I think I'm an intuitive player, so I like that the cards allow me to kind of come up with my strategy on the fly and kind of go with what feels right to me at the that time. That makes sense, sure. Since I'm never going to devote a bunch of time to studying a game and figuring out what the best move is in every scenario. Okay, so. all right. How about you, Michael? Uh, with Tuscany, it's one of my like top five games. Okay. Um, We'll show. We should show the baseboard in a minute, but okay. uh, yeah, the new board adds a lot, and it's great. Um, and I really love. I love games where there's like a turn order mechanic where you're choosing. where there's some advantage yes. to going at different points. So I I really like that aspect of it, and and it's just fun. Um, and to address one question in the chat, uh, it's definitely a lot lighter than Vinos. Oh yeah, a lot yeah. More. considerably lighter. Yeah, a lot um, of people say this is a pretty like relaxing worker placement game and I think it's a lot of fun. Yep. Agreed, Dave. Well, uh this is my wife's number 2 game. She loves Village. That's her favorite. Mm. Um so I own play both games and I I don't own the expansion. 
uh, most, Tuscany for the this? Tuscany, okay. yeah. Gotcha. And, and, and part of it is she really likes the base game, and that's what we'll be playing. And for a two-player game, that's what we play. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as opposed to all the other games that we've got, this is what she likes to play, which is great. If we can get more, the neighbor comes over or something like that, then we'll play Village or something cool. else. And for us, we, uh, we don't play it a ton, um, possibly partially due to churn and burn because we review games. Uh, but I enjoy it every time it hits the table. And I don't know that... So my very first play I mentioned earlier, it was without the Grande Worker. So this mm. is way back. Um, yeah. And that was extremely limiting. Um, I'm all yeah. for I'm all for a stressful game like Agricola, I, which is one of my favorite games of all time. But that made it a little too tight. And with the additions that have come in from the uh, just the expansions that have come through, really enjoy the game. And yeah, it's a relatively low stress, enjoyable worker placement game, which is exactly what it tries to do. And I think kind of like what you were talking, Michael. I think my favorite mechanic in the entire game, though, is the turn order and the way that uh, the, you get different cards or get different benefits depending on where you go. Um, I like seeing that in different games, and I like with the different seasons having you know all four different options or three different options, as it were. So yeah. yeah, really big fan of it. I enjoy it. I know some people don't like the randomness of the cards. I'm fine with it. I, I don't know that I would ever want to play this with five or six because I think four is slow enough. I think uh, two or three might might be ideal. Uh, four runs a little long for what it is. Five and six, uh uh. So yeah, no, uh uh. Yeah. So we were on what turn seven? Yeah, seven turns. So yeah. in the stream, almost three hours, including the teach stream, adds some time. So take that with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. So the last thing we'll go and show you guys the. Uh, what the baseboard look like. See, one of these sides I think is German, so make sure we <laughs> yeah. show the, right, the right side. I okay. do really think the Tuscany board has the advantage for a two-player game, because if you'll notice on this board, you don't get any bonuses on the one spot, you which means it takes left. a lot longer to accomplish things in a two-player game because there are no bonuses available, Fair point. period. So you, I mean, here we can yeah. kind of put it down. Yeah, so the wake up, on the baseboard, the wake up is just one bonus one time, and then everything that's in spring and summer is kind of combined into summer. Right. And then same with fall and winter being and the winter the actions. Game ends at twenty. That's yep. that's important too. Yeah. So. yeah. So highly recommend the Tuscany expansion. Yep. There you go. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, well done on the teach, Michael. Thank you. And Marty, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you Thank won't you. be a stranger was going this your forward. First it was. Second. It was My first stream. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, then remember to thumb up, like the, uh, the video, subscribe, obviously, and if you like uh, supporting the show and you want to uh, go above and beyond, like the 614 patrons we have out there, check it out, uh, pledgehc.com. We definitely appreciate the support. One last note, so as you guys saw, for the scroll at the bottom, Game Surplus has been offering us a discount code uh, most days for the, uh, the hashtag HC Advent. So if you go today, I believe it's HC Advent 20, I think is what it is. You'll see it on the scroll here at the bottom. Um, it 20% off uh, Ding and Dent, and Carmen mentioned to me that uh, you go to gamesurplus.com, go to that area, they just added some Charter Stone, which kind of ties in since that's Jamie Stegmeier and Stonemeyer with their latest legacy game. So check that out, all right? Cool. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm Edward. Banker Dave. Marnie. Michael. All right. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all later. Tomorrow, actually, with Combat Commander. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you Monday. <laughs>